welcome to the Everwind Chronicles, a story told through Dungeons and Dragons. If you are unfamiliar with Dungeons and Dragons, don't worry, you probably won't have any trouble following along on the story. Uh, for tonight's episode, being the first, we will have a slightly longer intro than normal. Normally I'm going to try to keep it rather short so that we can get straight into the story. <coughs> Um, but tonight we will be spending some time uh, introducing you to the characters, introducing you briefly to the world they find themselves in, and uh, getting the story in motion. So, to start, we are going to introduce our characters, starting with... Stoic Songsteel. Um, Half-orc cleric. Um, gray complexion. Kind of like a... Orc John Snow looking character. <laughs> Very uh, dashing and furry. Um, and yeah, I come just left my Temple of Pilar on kind of forced out and met up with you fine folk and we'll see where it goes. Now we can use the joke. You know nothing, stoic songs. <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Yeah. My name uh, my name is is it the foot, sir? Because you used to call me easy. Um, <laughs> I'm the half elf from Everwood, um, a bit of an outcast and wanderer here in this lovely world of Everwind Chronicles. Now, I'm with this party here. It's a little, maybe a little pretentious of me to say, but uh, I do enjoy them. They are like my family now. Just a little bit. I don't know yet. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I won't give you too much. Uh, but life is whimsical. I'm here to enjoy it. Uh, my name is Valen Ren. I am a human monk on the Order of the Emerald Dragon. Uh, I am kind of a tannish complexion from being outdoors and training. Uh, long black hair, kind of parted in the middle, shoulder length. Uh, a can't quite see all of it, but you would be able to see kind of through the uh, black and green gita. I'm wearing a tail of a green dragon wrapping around my side. Um, and I am from the Targonian <coughs> Empire, just north of the Pell Mountains. Hello. I am Bear. Bear with me. Like most Goliaths, <laughs> I enjoy my life in the world thrown up in North Fire. But I had to leave due to family tragedy. Joined up with the Silver Flames. <coughs> And I've been traveling with them. Came across these folks. They seem like they like to kill evil beings, and so I do too. <laughs> and I join right along with them. Uh, short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. My name is Asura Vapula, Tiefling Rogue Assassin in that order. <laughs> I am from Alraka in the sandy deserts. Uh, I left Alraka under very unknown reasons uh, and I am currently on a very uh, soul crushing redemption journey to figure out who I am since leaving mm. uh, I, as a tiefling I have horns that go up the back of me, purple is mainly my color palette lavender skin, dark plum hair matching uh, horns long unkept braid that comes down the side and like a good assassin I am always loaded up with knives and I'm ready to fight <laughs> knives <laughs> this is the weirdest dating profile. <laughs> I like long walks in the sand and killing my enemies. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Swipe <to> right. <laughs> uh, and I am Doug Watson, the dungeon master, uh, the creator of Everwind and torturer of players. <laughs> All hail, <laughs> breaker of souls, <laughs> and receiver of worship. <laughs> All right. Our story begins with five individuals of no, no historical note who you just met. The world is generally at peace, with some exceptions. Yet that has not necessarily made life easier, for tragedy is no stranger to peacetime, and each of these individuals has experienced tragedy in their own way as they've walked their own paths in life. Paths that, like all mortal creatures, seem to be an unpredictable and unmeasurable mix of choice and chaos. But whether it was choice, or chaos, or fate, or the gods, or something else that brought them here, 
Their paths first converged in the city of Elduin, capital city of Karandia. As cities go in this time of history, um, Elduin is quite large, benefiting from a rich land and various economic resources. As cities, uh, like most of Karandia, it is full of practical, hard-working people who generally prefer to mind their own business and achieve a modest success in order to live a peaceful life. Yet, in these individuals' experience of Elduin, they did not sense peace. It's a feeling that's difficult to place because most of the citizens seem to be going about their lives as they normally would in any city. But like a ripple in a still pond, they got the strange sense that some of these streets know something that, it, that the others don't. And it has made them guarded and alert. Like cracks just beginning to show in a cliffside that might be showing signs of collapsing into a landslide if just enough weight is put on it. Perhaps it was the ongoing news of strange civil war taking place in the countryside between goblins and bandits uh, in the wilder parts of Karandia. Perhaps it was the rumors of strange creatures appearing all over the country. Perhaps it was a citywide grumbling that King Gethryn was weak. Or perhaps it was something else altogether. But in any case, it was here that these five stories converged, brought together by a near universal truth of mortality, the need for money. <laughs> for no journey, noble, simple, or ambitious, can be completed without the basic necessities of life. And so these individuals agreed to begin working together, taking up bounties and selling their combat prowess and willingness to take risks in exchange for coin. After seeing some small successes together, the colonel, Colonel Oak, of the city guard took notice and gave them a bigger job, seeking out a mysterious creature reportedly killing villagers around the bog town of Etchlin, several days' march to the south. And so they traveled, fighting off dangerous creatures and making their way through the beautiful countryside and into the swamplands to find this creature and hopefully slay it. And then, on the third night, the night just before arriving at Etchlin, they settle in to sleep, even leaving one on watch. But despite this, all five of them find themselves falling deep into a sleep. And they all five have the same dream. And it is one of the most vivid dreams that any of them have ever had. Darkness. You are aware, alert, clear. But there is nothing. A silence more complete than you've ever known. And then, a figure. A robed figure moving through the dark. Old but strong, male, eyes dark and full of mystery, long white hair flowing behind him as he moves with purpose. Simple black robes lined with gold rustle softly with his confident stride. A gold ring gleams gently in a sourceless light as it grips the black sheath of a sword. The hilt, however, is nothing but shadow as if the whole scene were a painting and someone had cut out the sword itself. The man stops, looks around. He holds out a hand and a white light appears, yet illuminates nothing. <clears throat> Noticing this, the man closes his hand and the light goes out. He looks about thoughtfully and then lets out a <clears throat> decisively. Another figure appears behind him, a woman young and seemly, skin pale, eyes bound in a silk blindfold. A long, shimmering dress flows behind her as she walks up to the man, the dress leading up to a hood pulled up to cover pure blonde hair. Aya Ethrin Torfundain. It's not a language you know, yet somehow you know what he's saying. We must go. There is nothing here we want. The woman nods and the robed man draws the dark sword soundlessly, 
revealing a blade that matches the oblivion of the hilt, somehow darker than even the lightless world they are in. The man holds it out and whispers a chant. Dalgash Tanathea Salotros Pasheza. He gently thrusts the shadowy blade forward until the tip bursts with a white light. After a moment's hesitation, the man pushes the blade slowly further as it seems to disappear into a small blaze of fire. A strange fire intertwined with flames of pure white and dark black. He pulls the sword back and looks at the growing hole in the nothingness. You stare as the, the man and woman fade, and you see only the flame. The shifting shape that begins to take form until you are staring at a dark sphere with the strange black and white fire, wreathing it, undulating like an eclipse. The moment you look at it, your, your very soul is shaken. Your stomach drops. You can feel your very essence twisting around back on itself. You feel vertigo as a thousand contradictory feelings crash down on you, freezing and burning, petrifying and disintegrating, drowning and dying of thirst, starving and bursting. Your mind cracks before the sight of something beyond understanding, beyond fear, beyond pain, beyond death. Your mind desperately tries to comprehend it, and in the act begins to fragment and slip away into scrambled void. And then... female voice, <clears throat> impossibly warm, yet with crushing gravity. This is how it begins. You wake with a gargantuan gasp for air, as if you haven't breathed for minutes, or hours, or days, maybe you've never breathed at all. <laughs> Your heart pounds painfully in your chest, faster than it ever has, as it shoves adrenaline surging through your veins as you bolt upright, looking around wildly for a threat. Your senses have trouble readjusting to the reality you've been tossed back into like a cold lake. Yet as you look around, your senses meet only the calm, still, and soft chirping of a woodland night. You look around at your companions and see color drained from faces, even the hot-natured tiefling drenched in sweat. You can see it in each other's eyes. You all feel like you've just seen something that wasn't meant to be seen. And as you collect yourselves and catch your breaths, here is where we'll pick things up. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, oh, what was that? Did you guys experience the same thing? The dreams? Did we share that dream? Sing we did, yeah. 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 Was there a man and a woman? Yes. And a sword? And it yes. shattered and everything shattered and everything was terrifying. So what begins? What is beginning? It's very different than my other dreams. Usually dancing bugbears usually is what I dream of. That's that was way, way, way worse. Way worse. I think <clears throat> I'm going to take a look around just to be I'm on the safe side. Yeah, let's, um, I'll join you on that. I'd like to look around nope. for yeah. somebody. Right. Um, do a perception check. Well, you're Mr. <clears throat> I didn't roll anything. I'm literally me and my knives are just like hanging out right now. <laughs> Was it light when we woke? I got no, a it's, it's in the middle of the night. Okay. I'm I got a 16. It's up. higher than 16, but I don't know if I got a time where it is. Higher than 16. Yeah. Okay. It's 16 plus whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Very precise. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Close. Close. 
Well, you look around and um, you know you're you're basically in swampland. You hear a lot of insects and a lot of mm. uh, a couple of nighttime birds um, that all sound somewhat familiar. Um, you know you hear the occasional splash or small like small splash like you hear in swampland <coughs> day or night really. Um, but there's just there doesn't seem to be absolutely anything out of the uh, normal. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any danger. No. That seems pretty There's something far worse than something physically dangerous happening here. I would rather be cut a thousand times by a thousand knives than relive what I just experienced. Do you think that to dream that, or do you think other people might have dreamed that as well? I think it was bad enough that any of us dreamed that. It's a very powerful wizard to do what he does. We just all had together. Magic? Strong as a very deep magic. I don't like being being played with. (laughs) That's right. What do you think is ahead now? I'm not going back to sleep. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm pressing on, but I'm not in any rush to go back to sleep. So if you guys want to rest, I'll take watch. <laughs> I want to I want to sit next to sexy healing hands. Why <laughs> do you start the fire? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> sure, it wasn't. Oh. Meant. Uh-huh. <laughs> It was sticks. Cool. Would you like to continue on with this and thought? The sticks yeah. in the light. <laughs> what time is it right now, roughly? Uh, um, looking up, you'd probably guess <clears throat> maybe 4 a.m. or so. So we still got a few hours before yeah. daybreak. Daybreak. Fair enough. Um, mm. I'm with you guys. I don't think I can go back to sleep. Yes, but I think why as we press on, find this beast. I think that's something to do. Continue on the journey. Yeah, yeah, get a few hours ahead. Start. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going back to sleep either. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might as well pack up camp and be on our way. Maybe we can ask somebody in the town if uh, anything strange happened mm-hmm. last night to see if it was just us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that may be the best way to go. Yeah. That's why it's young. I don't want to stay here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. No. Right. Start it's packing it's my stuff. Yeah. Starts on journey. Yeah. The city of going. All right. Well, you pack up your uh, all your uh, bed rolls and and uh, you know putting out the fire and, and just packing up camp. Uh, you set off back on the trail. Uh, it is a little bit slower going, being nighttime in a swamp. So mm-hmm. it's you have to be very careful uh, to stay on like the the, the road uh, and not. Mm-hmm. Now, accidentally uh, step off into uh, swampland. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit slower going, um, but with the early start and um, all things considered, you still get there a little bit earlier than um, anticipated. Um, so as you uh, you start seeing in the distance uh, buildings, you start seeing small, um, little more than huts in this <laughs> this uh, this group of buildings here um not in a clearing but really sort of part of the the swamp itself uh as you start approaching and seeing people coming and going uh villagers and what you can only imagine to be echelon um you approach as uh lots of curious eyes uh look at you and you can see all of them have a, a slight bit of nervousness uh to them as they're all sort of looking at you curiously and sort of hurrying about their uh, business um, as you approach. Um, As you walk through the town, um, you're approached by a man who's um, relatively short, probably just over five foot, a little stocky um, human uh, man, seems to be about middle-aged. Sort of seem has this look like he thinks about everything very hard. Um, and 
he kind of walks up to you and he's like, uh, well, you, you're traveling through. I believe we were here to kill a beast. Well, we, we were sent by General Oak to come provide assistance. He's only a cardinal. Don't get his head big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Coming for the beast, then, huh? Yeah. Do you uh, know of the beast? Well, yeah. Hydric. My name is Bear. Yeah, I'm the town leader. Uh, Less obvious. For <laughs> that is certainly. <laughs> that is maybe not. Either way, it's uh, glad to have you here. We we need some help. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what I know. Uh, it started a few weeks ago. Um, well, another went missing earlier, but. <clears throat> Could be related, could not, but um, some have claimed to see it, but no one's consistent. Um, some say it's now there. I think that seems unlikely. They don't typically come. Not swampland's not really their thing. Uh, they don't come near the farm anyway. Um, some say it's a troll. Some have sworn it's a tree. Some have. So the hill itself swallowed somebody. It's uh, it's a bit different story each time you, you hear it. Um, so I'm not going to be much help on that. Has huh? anyone been taken or just killed? Well, no one's returned, including our town lawman. Um, but no bodies? Not that we found, no. How many have gone missing hmm. total? Well, oh, oh, so far, uh, um, eight. Just over like a few weeks? Uh, yeah, over a few weeks. Making people real afraid to go out and do their farming. I gotta tell you, that's that's real devastating for the time of the season. Hmm. Uh, they afraid to go farming so we don't get the money we need and can't finish the farm before winter sets in. If we don't get <coughs> if we don't get back on track before winter sets in, uh, well I'll be honest with you, I don't know if we'll make it. Uh, we need we're not a rich town we'll get by but we need what we get so I know you do it for the coin but for what it's worth might be saving a whole town to succeed um, more important perhaps uh, it's making people scared uh, scared to go out farming and I don't know a town it's a phrase, where some talent's diseased. Well, when you get this done, move on. You what, can help. What did you say your name was? Adric. Well, Adric, have you noticed any patterns? I mean, has this only been happening on the outskirts of the farmlands, or is it? Uh, it hadn't yet? come to the village yet. Uh, it's mostly been out in uh, areas where people are hunting and farming. On the outskirts. Uh, the, the interesting thing is that it seems to be like, I mean, it's a swamp, there's a lot of rotten vegetation, so sometimes it can be harder to see, but it seems a lot worse where in the areas where that's these things have happened, where, where someone's gone missing. Hmm. Like the land's a little bit worse off, okay. you know, a little bit more rotten. Hmm. Um, I can <coughs> direct you to one of them areas. Maybe you can track it from there. <coughs> Please. That's um, helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you can tell us? Has it been all men or women? or Is there any pattern in the people that it's taken? No. It's been a little bit of each. Doesn't seem to have a taste for certain age or anything. Did the rot precede the people going missing, or did that happen all around the same time? Right. As I can reckon, it seems to happen around the same time. Well, if you could show us where the last incident happened, maybe we could start there. Yeah, uh, well, if you... I can't go with you, but if you follow the trail uh, over there, he points you to a trail that leads off into... It's like a little bit narrower path through the swamp. Mm. Well, you follow that trail, uh, about an hour, you see an area where it's getting worse, and... 
might be able to follow that and see if you can track something from there. Uh, <coughs> that's the best bet I can give you, uh, unless you sit around for weeks and see, try and trap it. Um, you know, if you got that kind of time, uh, I'd start tracking it. Um, but if you bring back proof you, you killed it uh, here, uh, I can pay you half here. Uh, the other half will be collecting Elgin. Before we go, did you happen to have a particularly vivid dream last night about a cloaked man and a cloaked woman? Oh no, I don't had no dreams. So it may be a hill swallowed me alive or something. That is quite tales, terrifying. Uh, but not last night, I don't think. I don't think I had much of any dream last night. Uh, mm. uh -uh. You're lucky. Heard, you haven't heard any complaints from your fellow villagers strange happened last night? Oh, uh, no, no. Not, not, I mean, it's still early in the day, but not, not many, many people have not so that's, that's a normal thing. I wouldn't worry none about it. Mm. Well, rest assured, Hydric, <clears throat> we will do our best. And we will put your village back at ease. Oh, it's Hadric, but you know. <laughs> my, 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 my apologies. Hadric? Uh, Hadric. 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 Uh, with an A. Hadric. A, yeah. Hadric. A, H A. Hadric. Hadric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't tell you how much you'd be appreciated if you come back alive with that, with that thing said or whatever it is. Yeah. Sorry, I was waiting for someone to say it. <laughs> and also, we can hear with you. Yes, there's nothing to do but to push on. This is how we get lucky at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's not much to go on, just to well, walk down the trail and <laughs> hope we see something. Well, is anyone else going to help us? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> and they're either too terrified to go out there, I or... I think they're not going to have any local help. And there is nobody yeah. who will return, so there is no one to talk to about <laughs> it. Mm. I think it is just us, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's proceed. I'm pretty good in the woods, but I don't know about tracking. So, does anybody else have any background to... I'm going to do a little bit of that. Yeah, I'm going to get out because I actually have, yeah, some, I was like, I I got have some proficiency in tracking or in survival. Yeah, I was like, I do too. So, so you, you, you team up and, and do let it. us let us work together. Yes. There goes some tracking. Yes, these are the times I wish I were a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to? Yep. You want to roll? You want to roll? No, you, do you want to roll together? Sure, we can we? I was going to give you advantage. Are you doing on that? Oh, uh, now? Or do you want to give me advantage? Yeah, we, yeah, so we're going to roll it to track. From the village? No, I mean we've gone down the road a little ways. <laughs> have we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's oh, it. Don't, don't you be telling the DM what we haven't had nothing to it. I apologize. Yeah. yeah. All right. Who well, attacks so, us now? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you uh, you do start making your way down the trail. It is like single file narrow. It's not like the road that it was before, and kind of dips in and out of like some muddier parts and like you do get your feet a little bit wet you know kind of going through it it's mm -hmm. um it's pretty clearly not a hugely well-traveled trail mm -hmm. um but you know you take what you can get in like swamps like this um uh and you make your way kind of seeing a lot of the same normal uh life that you have been seeing um you know in this kind of like um you know it doesn't smell great it's a swamp Stumpy. Um, yeah, yeah. smells swampy. <laughs> yeah. um, as you, uh, after, Sorry. after close to an hour, uh, you basically start, the, the smell starts changing. And you start getting a little bit more of like this mix of uh, sweet and bitter that just comes with rotten vegetation um, and starts get, you, you get a little bit of that all throughout the swamp but it's it's clearly getting stronger and um, as you walk for a few more minutes um, you, you come to an area where you can see it's starting to 
Um, like there's, it's pretty clearly uh, deteriorates um, pretty quickly. And so you get to this area where it's like everything is now just dying. And just slowly, like, you know, like the trees, like the, you can see like bark is like rotting and like, you know, like branches starting to like fall off. And, um, it's just, it just seems like everything in there is kind of in the process of dying. Um, and not, not terribly long ago, but something is affecting this. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so now you can. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like a troll's underpants. Do you want me to give you advantage instead because you have better proficiency? Sure, we can do that. Alright, so can I just give yeah. you advantage? Open. Natural 20. Hey! Hey! Yeah, that's a good way to start off. First 20 of the night! <laughs> uh, and it's the first roll of the... No, no yeah. Yeah, well, we can roll it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Um, alright. So, so, you proceed. <laughs> <laughs> the world opens to... <laughs> All right, so um, you notice a few things. Um, one is in this area where this has happened, um, you're noticing that birds and bugs seem to be absent from this area. Like it's like everything living is kind of avoiding this area if, if it's not already dead. Um, you uh, also notice that basically across the way. Um, start like just a little bit of a distance uh, into the you know further down the path you can see just through the trees and everything you can see that it looks like it starts getting um, like life starts to show up again um, so uh, you even climb a tree just just to get a little bit more vantage point and kind of look around um, like just a few feet off the ground uh, and you know kind of look around and notice there's a um, it looks like it's like a wide swath that seems to like travel in a like almost like a you know it's just like a like here's the here's the dead part and it just seems to go in this direction like it looks like it's in kind of intentional like it's not just randomness well what you're seeing is what it looks like is just like a it's almost like a path of death okay. here that's happening like this rotten mm-hmm. like um, <laughs> you know trail if you will of this this kind of a rotten death uh, like happening in a what seems like a line like mm-hmm. where it's like it picks up on the other side of like kind of life over here but it's like there's a clear area like so follow the rotten death road is yes. what you're saying follow the rotten death road follow the rotten death road follow the rotten death road so I point that out to everybody as far as like it seems very centralized I guess in a way where it Clear path of death. Subtle. You know, I have to admit, I kind of thought tracking would be a little more difficult. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got a lot of piles of death in it. Well, right? Monkey Monkey's very good at many things, apparently. Including that staff. He, he punched people hard, he tracks death. It's yeah. very exciting for all of us. Shall, shall we? Uh, yes. No, but yes. <laughs> Do I want to follow that? Never. Usually uh, I provide it. Just in case <clears throat> it shows up. What do we have? We have the healing potion. Who's got that? Two bottles of healing. I have them. Mm-hmm. Do we have anything else that we need to know about? No, because my weapon on my tail broke. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm nothing to do but to follow. <clears throat> All right. Can I do a little elf elf movement here and, and put my hand on the dead dead stuff and do an arcana check? On the sure. Yeah, I'll do it on a random dead log. Sure. <laughs> Dear dead sweet log. log. The closest <laughs> log to me. I want to check. Okay? Log, are you okay? <laughs> Speak to me, log. Feeling blue. <laughs> oh, Dear yeah. reader. That's not good. Um, <laughs> uh, I rolled let's see, this would be what? A arcana check? Roll the ten. Even Steve. <laughs> it's a log. It looks like a lot of, like a log. <laughs> you look like a man. This log He's is looking uh, like a man. Dead. Is this a ma- is this was there any magic involved in killing this log? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's it. Maybe. Some magic. 
Um, yeah, I don't understand nature. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, you try to examine the like the stuff around you, and mm-hmm. um, basically, there's not much you can tell. Magically speaking, whether mm-hmm. magic may or may not have had anything to do with this, it just kind of looks like dying plant life. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, you know, I mean, you notice some, you know, a couple dead bugs floating in the water, but they. You, can't really tell if this was magically caused or not. Are there any signs of the other, the missing people, like any weapons, armor, anything that show that they had come through this area? Mm-hmm. Um, so as you guys like, so you guys pretty clearly head off the path mm-hmm. and you plunge down into the water. Um, as you're walking, you are just making your way through this water anywhere, and it kind of varies in depth. Mm-hmm. So anywhere from like you know, kind of chin level to uh, all the way up to chest uh, chest level at one point where you're holding stuff above your head if you need to. It's And then kind of everywhere in between um, mm-hmm. as you're kind of going through a, an uneven swamp area. Um, you are not seeing anything that looks like human possessions uh, mm-hmm. of any kind. Just more of this kind of decaying matter uh, as, as you go. So is the decaying matter just floating in the water? Um, I mean, a little bit. It's like stuff has like fallen off, like leaves and stuff has like fallen off into the water. There's a little bit here and there. Okay. Yeah. I just, I, I, for some reason, I thought it was like dead grass and like a path that could run into the water. Yeah, no, well, because there's not really grass. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, I guess. If you look, uh, you could probably see a little bit of dead grass, like in the. It's kind of like died and fell in basically into the water, I guess, if you will. Like, the, you know, would have been really yeah. tall grass in certain areas, like, has like all kind of wilted. But it's pretty and, evident. But it's like tra- patches, pretty evident yeah. trail of death. In the yeah, right. yeah, it's pretty uh, fairly obvious. Um, but yeah, you don't see anything along that those those ways. Good, I'm not the fan of subtlety. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't. Um, <laughs> One thing that stands out too is how hard walking through water is. Um, <laughs> yes. Even even at the the shallowest parts, it's like you have to either trudge with the water or pick your your feet up higher, and it's basically just a nuisance. And after a couple of hours of, of walking, it's it's starting to tire you a little bit. Like you're like even even as fighters, as people who are accustomed to walking and traveling and everything like that. I this trained is in sand. <laughs> Yeah, it's just still different. Like the sand is not, t- yeah. you know, chest level. <laughs> that's a pretty bad start. Right, um, and so it's it's uh, it's pretty miserable. Like it's hot. There are lots of uh, like weirdly not any bugs like bothering you at this point. But um, it is you know still kind of muggy. It's not as hot as it could be because as you know as it's starting to get into fall. Um, I prefer it dry heat. Uh, well, it's definitely not dry. This is, very, <laughs> this is very humid as you are kind of lower in the the, bottom. Um, the, the sea level, so to speak. Um, mm-hmm. Elevation, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> um, so, um, as you walk, what you do notice is uh, what looks like clumps of vegetation and stuff just seems to be kind of showing up in like piles. Um, you know, hmm. in, in, you know, periodically and everything, and they seem to be kind of getting bigger um, as you go. Uh, not sure if they're hills or if they're actual vegetation stacked or anything like that. You don't know. But, so mm-hmm. larger, not floating in the water, but like, yeah, like mounded like, in the water. Yeah, just okay. kind of like these mounds uh, that seem to be covered in dead plant life and everything. Going. Okay. Hmm. Does it resemble the appearance of the the encounter that we had last night with the swamp things? Uh, At least the look of the dead vegetation? Yeah, no, not, not really. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, you're not exactly, like, well-trained in, you know, in the subtleties of swamp creatures. I don't understand nature, like I said. Right, I just, yeah, so, like, uh, you can do a nature check. 
Uh, let's see how this goes. Um, Fifteen. Um, any similarity is pretty vague. Like, okay. like the, the the creatures you saw didn't seem like they were healthy life plants, like so to speak. Mm-hmm. But they didn't seem like this. This is like dead, like okay. lifeless. I just want to make sure like, the hills aren't. There's weren't. Up. There's some, <laughs> you know, the creatures that you fought before were a little more like sick than they were dead, gotcha. and this uh, is like dead. Okay. They're just asking for a doctor. We just murdered them. <laughs> like, <"Hell> <laughs> <laughs> I speak silver. <laughs> I still think your wand is a problem. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, it's a book. All right. Just continuing on. Absolutely. Eyes yeah. peeled. How many? Oh, how many floating things were there? Um, it's floating just mounds. like it's not so much on like specific. I mean, it depends on where you are, I guess. But yeah. like, it's like a specific. It's not can a specific we, number. Can so we traverse like, the mountains to be off the to be out of the water? You can try. I would like to try. Do a athletics check to climb up on one. Can I? I can mm, give you a boost. Can you give me a boost? Say, Bear's a pretty big guy. But you've dropped me twice already. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, five. I can give you. A boost. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta decide that before you. Yeah, roll. no, I just roll <laughs> five. Yeah. No, no assistance. Right. No assistance. I, I'm like, I don't trust him anymore to lift me up, but I'm like, I can do this. Athletics check fat. Yeah, so you get on, you think climbing's no big deal. I'm good with, you know, yeah. I'm acrobatic, yeah. I'm good, you know, and everything like that, but didn't realize quite how much the water has taken out of you and this, like, humid environment and just the walk and everything else. Uh, and you actually go and, like, the vegetation on this, like, kind of covering these mounds just starts to, like, kind of, it's not, like, the most rooted mm-hmm. there um so you basically try to climb but you can't really it, like you're having a really hard time getting a grasp like good enough to like really pull yourself out of the water so you're not really mm-hmm. succeeding at climbing the mountain just stretching my arms nothing to worry about just uh, better, good. feel better now oh, i would laugh i'm a little too exhausted <laughs> 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 Water's really tuckered you out. We're not wearing chainmail. <laughs> but I think we, I think we're getting near something. Mm-hmm. We should just try and keep pressing forward here. Yeah. Yes. Up to it. All right. So far, as high as the ground. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it's somewhere out of this water. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Moving we'll forward. Yeah. All right. So you keep moving, and and you, you're still seeing a, lo- a few of these mounds here and there, and. and um, you, the 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 kind of deadness of this this path, if you will, through through this uh, this swampland uh, continues and it seems pretty consistent. Like it, it's like a, a pretty consistent like width as you're going. Like it doesn't seem to like vary really. Um, and um, <clears throat> as you're as you're walking after uh, probably about another hour uh, of walking. Uh, you kind of get to an area, and you can you can see um, that up ahead, you can see through the trees what looks like, like basically looks like the swamp is kind of seeing life again up ahead. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Sorry, I'm gonna use my divine sense. Mm-hmm. I can detect good and evil. I can sense anything affected by the hallow spell, or know the location of any celestial. Fiend or undead from mm-hmm. 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Okay. Uh, and what was the what spell? Hallow spell. H A L L O W. Alright, so uh, you just cast it like it's not a roll? I think it's just like a, one of my racial, fa- yeah. racial features. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or class features. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a paladin. It's a paladin. It's a paladin. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so you. Uh, so you're basically in knee deep water at this point, um, and you kneel down to effectively waist deep. And uh, <laughs> have a holy symbol right here. I'm gonna go yeah. Holy so you kneel down um, in deference to the the powers you serve as as a paladin, and you you um, hold uh, your holy symbol and reach out with it, like you close your eyes, and it's basically like a it's almost like listening or smelling intent. Like smelling is probably the best word for it, but it's like a different sense. But you're like intentionally like, 
you know, like drawing, trying to draw in the area around you, f- searching for specific things. Um, and uh, as you do, you you don't sense anything that falls into those categories. Hmm. I come out of it. I look very troubled. Something. <clears throat> Well, it's not celestial, fiend, or undead. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's really specific. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense say. those three things. It's all set. Okay. But I don't, what else could it be? I don't know, it just looks, it sounds, hmm. it smells not. I don't know what it smells like. So, is there an obvious, like, cutoff between the death and the new life, or is it like a gradual change into... It's, well, it's gradual technically, but it's like pretty quick gradual. Just like, it looks like exactly what you're seeing on like right or left. And you don't like it just kind of goes like this. Hmm. Can I walk forward and see if it gets deeper? Or if there's any like holes or anything? Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you walk forward and, hmm. uh, you know, basically you're like kind of feeling around with your foot, basically. Uh, and it looks like it stays fairly even uh, at this point, like water depth, okay, so to speak. Um, so you kind of, um, you know, you kind of stop moving around and everything. Uh, and, you know, as the water settles and everything, you f- see another, uh, what looks like another ripple coming from a different direction go by your feet. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Out of the water! Out of the water! <laughs> Is there anywhere close to get out of the water? <laughs> there is not. Oh. You hear oh. down there. Oh. Right. You, you hear, you basically see kind of ripple, like, what almost looks like, uh, it's it's not like a ripple, like, like moving through the water. It's like a, like a pond ripple type effect. Um, yeah, it's like there's, it's like just a couple of different ripples as you hear this low rumble um, of, like... Mm. And this slow, the, of this like this low rumble of like moving earth on, along with what sounds like what is a, like a much bigger and deeper sound of what you heard with the other creatures, which is like the rubbery, weird sound of vegetation rubbing against itself. As you <clears throat> basically look to your right and see one of the mounds is moving. And lifts itself Ooh, up. Mounds were good. <laughs> <laughs> lifts itself up until it is. You see it rises up to the size of something about the size of an elephant, and yeah, with, good. like unfolds two arms with two stands up on two legs, like till it comes up into like a formless head with what looks kind of like teeth of like rotten like branches. Um, as it gr- gives out this <laughs> like you see this splash as it puts its its fist down in the water I need you all to roll initiative yes! oh. what do you think that's the thing we're tracking oh, no, I have a strong feeling that I get <laughs> ah. yes no one. <laughs> two. I'm right there. I'm out of you I'm so, so proud of you yes <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> so Tara's going first. Yeah. Apparently. So easy and stoic of either pace. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're going last. Don't worry, I did too. This is not so oh. good. Yeah. No. So these are trees. These are the mounds that we were talking about. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I was like, oh, elephant size. That's just one of them. <laughs> So you see, as you get a clearer view, this one actually kind of unfolded itself from this mound. There's still like mm. remains oh. of the mound back here. Oh no! Is there other things in the mound? Stoic, you are. Are you you? No, I'm and I'm, I'm, I'm the flower. Oh yeah, you're here. He's hard working. He's too deep. Yeah, so you were right about here. Because <laughs> yeah, I had to walk forward and practice. Closer up to run this time. Well, you didn't spend so fast. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. 
I did not roll high in this one, so I'm all right. I'm a previous partner. So there's new, So I take it we were all walking in from this direction. Yep, you were walking this way. Okay. So over here is where the life starts and everything, but that's what you're looking at. Okay, so 15 or higher. 17. Oh, sir. You can probably skip to the zero to five. The next. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Oh, really. oh yeah. no. You're all single digits. Yep. yep. Real right. bad. Woo! <laughs> okay. Uh, he got the so jump on his boys. Five or higher. <laughs> Six. I got two. Uh, I got, well, plus the natural one. Yeah, maybe three. Just a natural one. Okay. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I mean, I'm glad it's here in the initiative. Yeah. I think it really affects. Like, unless we start attacking. Right. Since so we're getting slaughtered. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> then maybe that's okay. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Who was next? Is you? Uh, no, I think. I had six. I think I was six. Best. Well, after you, sorry. I think it was Chris. You have three. I have three. Three, and two. two, and one. One. <laughs> Got no outer to my initiative. <laughs> That's the only thing that I've had. Like I was like, I always had plus two initiative. I'm always like ready to roll. <laughs> yeah. I will pump something to that dex bonus. Yes. It's a little stone, yep. What's it? <laughs> uh, yep. What's it? All right. This so as you face this gigantic beast of unknown origin, Asura, you are first. All right. I would like to pull out my longbow and give it a good old hit. All right. Do it. Uh, 15 to land. 15 hits. Yes! Okay, and then I'm using... My D8 plus my um, sneak attack bonus for 2D6. Uh, um, so that's going to be 4, 6. I don't think you get a uh, yeah. sneak attack. You have to have advantage. Well, you have I have advantage so, or an ally next to him. Yeah, and so I have allies within 5 feet of it. No, they're not within 5 feet. Are they not? <laughs> not just give it a thumbs up. Dang it! Alright, then Wait, it's just. Sorry, sorry. I don't get my D6, so Aww. it's just a 4. What? Yep. Why not? Because he said no. Because the DM yeah. said so. Aww. Uh, yeah. The rules. <laughs> sneak attack works. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. the rules. I thought, I thought, see, it looked like they were close enough, so I was like, perfect, I can use that. I thought that you get for going first, was that later? Oh, yeah, do I get to go for my first attack? Is well, that would be the a assassin. Yeah, yeah, so what is the assassin? The assassin ain't those. But that's only getting advantage on my roll. On my D twenty roll. But if you get advantage. But if you get advantage, then you get sneak. Yeah. So. Then I get to roll advantage of what? If you get advantage, you get sneak attack. Okay. Okay. Roll again too for your attack. Yeah. Roll. Advantage of attack rolls against creature hasn't taken a turn, which it hasn't. Yeah. Please, we need those points. We need those points. Yeah, so you get advantage, okay. and then you also get sneak attack. Roll it again to make sure you don't get a deep uh, natural <laughs> 20. No, that was a 6. Oh, okay. Alright, so then I'm rolling these guys again. So that's it, so now you're, now you're rolling. There we go. Alright, so that, ooh, that's a lot better. Yes. Um, so 8 plus 2, 10. There you go. 12, 16. 16. Points ooh, of damage. Nice. Nice. Woo! Right. Woo! I was like, I was like, my only skill set is rolling lots of die when I hit things the first time. <laughs> Let me use my one skill. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you uh, take aim, uh, whipping out your longbow and letting loose an arrow, which sinks into this, uh, into the shoulder of this this gigantic mound of vines and vegetation, uh, and it just kind of sinks into it and doesn't even seem to. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, my bonus action? Can I just, like, you know, like, just get a little further out of the way? Yeah, we're going to wait. Just, I don't know, somewhere that's not close to it. I'm not thinking I don't have clearly. anywhere I don't know marked on here, so. Yeah. <laughs> so. I would like to, um, 
Yeah. I'm so afraid that these things have things in them too. I would like to back up closer towards the tree a little bit. Because I'm not leaving you. I'm just. Are we here? So we did the whole tree. Yeah. Because can I climb these trees? Are these climbable? You can try. Can you're I? Right. By I'm my next. The well, you could use your bonus action actually to dash. So yeah. you could try and use some of that movement to try. Can to, I try to climb yeah. it? Uh, so you're using your yeah, bonus? No, uh, 10. A 10? Yeah. Uh, so, so you basically get up uh, 5. Uh, you're able to get up about 10 feet or so. Okay. Uh, up in the air here. So you're in a tree. Yeah, I'm in a tree. <laughs> Are we in difficult terrain, Doug? Sorry? Are we in difficult terrain? Um... No, it's okay. shallow enough that you're you're okay. okay on that's okay. Good. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that brings us to Valen. Oh wow! <laughs> I was expecting. I know that's why I ran so away because I was like, I feel like it goes next, oh, and I'm just gonna true. get out of the way. Get first oh, oh yeah, and I'm squishing. That's, that's so. there. <laughs> yep. Tree elephant. So Tree I will <laughs> run up to it and. Take a swing with my quarter staff. Okay. <laughs> oh no. That is not good. That's an eight. What's with these rolls? I think it missed a tree this big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I start where I am. I trip in the water a little bit. <laughs> uh, and now for the bonus action, I will do an. I'll just go ahead and do an unarmed strike. I'm not going to do flurry blows. Uh, that's a 17. Okay, no, it's nice. nice. All those years of karate. Exactly. Chop the board, buddy. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, six, six points of damage. <laughs> Do you know, chop, <laughs> chopping wood is very handy. It was. like, never thought it'd come in handy, did you? Yeah, exactly. So, wax on. All right. Uh, so, you take a whack and you see, like, a little chunk of wood, like, come off of it, like, you know, but it doesn't seem to react too much other than that. Oh. So, you see a chunk come off of it. And now it is its turn. I am right there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. So, it, kind of, it rears back with both its, its like, massive arms uh, and comes down on you in a uh, slam, uh, which is a 21 to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's not good. That was a crack lock. That is uh, not good. Ten points of damage. Okay. Oh, that's significant. Mm. <laughs> um, so then it's actually going to s- take a step like this. Take a swipe at. Nothing says premier like an all premier. Yes, right. All right. <laughs> <TPK>. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Next week, new characters. <laughs> 23. Uh, you! Oh, yeah. oh. So, uh, no, what's, yo, what's with our shady rolls? <laughs> Run away! Run away! <laughs> of damage as it <clears throat> takes Take. massive you know, slams uh, yeah. into you as you're just hit with a brick house, basically. <laughs> Yeah. As the wind is knocked out of you as you take the full brunt of this attack from this massive creature. All right, mm. easy. Rough. All right. So I <laughs> slump on over to to Bear. Yeah. And some whisper my words of magic to him. Oh, I love when you do this. But my give you him know, the hot pepper again. I go. Zabel, your spider is super effective against him. It worked last time. <laughs> it worked last time. <laughs> Eats it up, and then so I'm. Then you're doing what? I'm casting Dragon's Breath upon him, where he can cast Fire upon uh, as a bonus action in his. Uh, wait, no, no, sorry, it is his action. Sorry, right. it's his action. It's my bonus action. So I'll cast that upon him by giving him the hot pepper. Yeah. Hot pepper of justice, I should call it. There you go. And then, um, is it easy? Well, uh, saunter on over to the tree here. I don't know, I'm going to get 30, 30 feet of movement? Uh, I think you've already moved 10 feet. I think you've already moved 10 feet. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You were back here, so yeah. like, yeah, gotcha. 10. So you're at 20 right here? Yeah. 
Yeah, or yeah, as far back as I can get. Or you can go for the yeah, turret, yeah. That's as far as I want to go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then I will. Then I will cast. Um... Let's see. I'll cast Firebolt at it. Building a mode of fire. Firebolt. Okay. Okay. And uh, <laughs> six plus five, I think, is my modifier. Yeah, that's eleven. I hit eleven. Does not hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I Why? shoot the fireball behind me. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually not the one resisting the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up here in the tree. <laughs> So after dashing by him and, and basically uh, imbuing him with this this power, you retreat and try to ca- turn around quickly to cast a firebolt, uh, which hits it in the shoulder, but just instantly goes <laughs> goes away. Yeah, it doesn't. Even... I meant to do that. <laughs> Bear. Uh, so for that spell, would advantage help me at all against him? Was it like a saving throw? Uh, it's a he has to succeed on a thirteen deck saving throw. Otherwise, he no takes damage half. wouldn't help. Okay, damn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, roll three d three d sixes. If he fails. No, no, you you throw you roll three d sixes regardless. Right, he takes right. half damage. Yeah, if he succeeds. If he succeeds. Okay. Feeling as if like I understand this spell a little better. Like... <laughs> <laughs> So this Goliath paladin rears up and just lets out a roar as fire pours out of his uh, out of his mouth, uh, covering you know, licking o- over this uh, this this mound here, and um, <clears throat> you see a bunch of like singeing and flames, everything as it's like clearly doing something to it, uh, but the mound just kind of keeps doing its thing. <laughs> um, is that it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Stoic. Alright, I'm gonna grab my symbol of Blar mm-hmm. and look at him and go, You love the sun. <laughs> Tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna cast Bane. Stainless. And I'm gonna cast Bane on him. That's a nice Ugly son of a bird. So it is, I don't, think, I don't think he's very charismatic. He has to be a charisma save of 13. If this, if this creature has high charisma, I don't. Yes, thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that so much. All right, very charismatic. Yeah, yeah I, I, he, he is. is. Not a charismatic. Got pretty much. blossoms and stuff on him. I like charisma. Okay. Well, in that case, then I am going to, with my bonus action, cast spiritual weapon. Okay. And mm. summon my. Giant sun hammer floating around in the air. Mm. Yep. Where you, uh, where you put it? Right up on him because I like to hit him with it. Yeah. There? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Maybe see it. Hammer can see it. Yep. Alright. Mm. As it appears, I'd like to take a chop at him if I could. Go for it. Swing, which nice. is a 16 to hit. That hits. Yes. And that is a nice. 8 plus 3. Yes. And that is an eight plus three. Oh, so that's all right. Eleven damage. Nice. Nice. And then I will take my movement to uh, <laughs> fall back, but stay in front of Squishy. Yes. So <laughs> I'd like to move back towards Easy. Go the Easy. We'll route. take an opportunity. Oh, I will. I am already in my range. Never mind. I'll, I'll stay there. Yeah. Uh, all right. So as you summon this, uh, this. Hammer appears out of uh, out of the out of thin air, uh, made of this whitish, yellowish, divine energy, 
uh, and takes this this big swing down on the on the creature with this big flash of light and uh, of divine energy. Uh, you see the shambling on just kind of shove forward just a little bit, um, and uh, as the hammer pulls back. Uh, so eleven points. And you're staying put. Yep. Yep. All right. So then that brings us back to Asura. All right, so sneak attack is once per turn, right? So there's like once at the beginning of this, and then that's it. Right. Because I can't use it anymore this while we're interacting. No, you can it. Once per round. Oh, so yeah. Like as your second, like your turn again. Yeah. You can use it. Cool, because all my friends are real close to it now. Yes. Can I'm gonna use my longbow again? Yep. And I'm gonna go for another attack with my longbow. I'm gonna make sure I know what I'm. Oh, boy. <laughs> 16. That hits. Yes. And then I'm going to use this and... Which one is it? This time? Kill it, kill it, kill it. Alright, so that's 5... 10. 10? Mm-hmm. Yes. Alright. Alright, so you take aim again from your uh, perch atop the tree there, uh-huh. or the, in the tree, and uh, let loose another arrow that sinks into it, like right in its chest below it and everything, uh, and you see it just kind of just do the slightest shift and everything as it's still, you know, doing its thing. Because mm. um, it's not like crying out or anything as yeah. these hits are hitting it. It's, Is it making noise at all? It makes, it has, there's this like low rumble happening, like this... You know, like, but it's not like a roar per se. It's yeah. just like this low rumble uh, that it lets out, you know, almost perpetually. Mm. But. And then for my bonus action, I would like to get out of my perch, <laughs> okay. come back down, and kind of come around to where Easy is behind the wall. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, 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 no. I lied. I want to come around the other side towards where. Monkey monkeys. Okay. So dash plus your movement. So. So you need to here. Uh, actually, get me to the that side of the mound. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't either. Valen. Yeah, I'll do what I do and swing with the quarter staff. Hey. Do it to it. It's a classic. All right. That's a lot better. That's a nineteen. 19 hits. Yeah, that is two-handed. So we've got nine points of damage there. <laughs> and I am going to go ahead and spend a key point to do a flurry of blows. That's two more unarmed strikes. Okay. I'm going to mark off my key points so I don't forget. Okay. And first one strike, natural 20. Whoa! Yes! All right, All right. Man. Alright, so that is in a roll of four, so that's eight, twelve points of damage on the first. Uh, first one on our pack. Second one, natural 18, so that's 24. Did you double the first one? Yes, that was the dice roll. Yeah, double the dice roll. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's another eight points of damage. Alright, so what is the total? So that's 20 on the unarmed, the, the flare blows. Yep. And nine on the uh, boat, the quarter staff. So nine. Woo! Yeah. 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 Oh, I know, man. right? <laughs> yeah, crushed it. Crushed it. points. That was fun. And I'm still going to stay there. So you come <clears throat> taking your uh, taking your staff and just bringing it up with this massive hit up against what looks like its jaw. Mm-hmm. You actually see one of the twi- like one of the branches that kind of is teeth like like actually fly off yeah. uh, as its like head snaps up a little bit, and then you just like let loose this this fast 
like a uh, string of blows as you see like pieces of it like kind of chunking as you as you're making these powerful blows against it um, <clears throat> as it continues like that slow rumbling sound it's <laughs> it's like there's some physical like movement from the blows but it doesn't seem to be like crying out or anything Hadouken, um, he's hardy. <laughs> For all that you just blowed on him, he's still standing. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. hearty. Yeah. Hearty yeah. vegetables. Uh huh. And now it is his turn. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not the right place. Can't play that one. I was there. I had it looped on the last one. Yeah. Just jamming it up. All right. Lean away, Denton. Walk you first. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so it is. Yeah, it's going to turn and attack you. Well, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect nothing yeah. less. You don't say. <laughs> All right, so. First hit is oh, a 16 to hit. Oh, that is my AC. <laughs> just hit. Oh, no, squishy. Yep. That's so that's good. Yeah. Five points. Mm-hmm. That's how many points? Five points. Five points, okay. And then it's doing the second blow on you. Of course. Yeah, that does. That's a 25 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> and 12 points. Woo! <laughs> 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 down to three points. I got you, buddy. Oh. I got you. Run away! Run away! Yeah. Run away. <laughs> As it brings down both of its like massive fists down on you, yeah. you know that like you all know that like basically the, the fists like wrap around you, and it gives this massive like pull like of you into its chest. Oh gosh! Oh, as you right. start feeling oh. it wrapping around you, oh, gosh. Uh, in this Nerd, kind of Nerd. crushing embrace. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so. Oof. You are engulfed, which means you are blinded, restrained, unable to breathe. Oh, there's no rolls, to, no checks to save against that. Not until you're <laughs> next week. Gotcha, okay. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm ready to get my uh, backup character next time. Mm-hmm. All right. He's going to be great, let me tell you. Okay. The monkey monkey was a pleasure to know. Yeah. Good work, Yeah. So you are slowly being engulfed by this thing, okay. uh, which brings us to oh, easy. Oh, all right. I'm going to put you like so he's in him. In. He's inside. He's being pulled into him. Okay. It's like oh. the monk is inside the monster. <laughs> What's the monster the inside the monster. <laughs> <laughs> the monk's inside the monster. <laughs> okay. Um, well. Easy always trusted old magic missile. So I'm gonna do a second level okay. spell slot of magic missile because okay. he feels serious now. He saw his totally friend get consumed by it. Okay. Second level, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it rain. Here comes. Um, originally, it's what three darts, I think. You, uh, uh, yeah, it's three at level one. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna make it a, a second level, so it has. Um, you click on it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. And then it changes into trip Gotcha. So now it's four darts total. It's right. three darts, then one dart. Oh, it's total. four plus one. Which one? Yeah, go for it. All right, here we go. I'm going to borrow your dice. That's all right. One, two, three. Need one more? Three. Need, need one more. Need one. Give me all your Triangles? energy. Is it fours? Okay. Making a spirit bomb here. Woo! Come in! <laughs> Give me your energy! Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, one's, one's not a one. Yeah, three one's ones. not a one. Three ones. Wow. You son of a bird. Three ones and a four. Hey, that's a, a that's thing seven. that happens. So that's five. Uh, Eleven. Eleven points of damage. Mm-hmm. One feels really good, and yeah. I just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I juggle the love of three. <laughs> I'm like, that's the way it's supposed to go, yeah. Oh, goodness. That's All right. right. Yeah, we are rolling. We're I know, right? All right, guys. Oh, yep, so you hold your what? hand out and. Um, <laughs> it's, it's over on her side, but it's alright. I'll give you another one. 
Oh, is that one? So you hold your hand so out, and uh, as before, the you know, these little white light darts just shoot out of your head, shoot out of your hand in these kind of curving paths. As there, as <laughs> this like like noise, you know, darting through the air as they as they all sink into the uh, into this thing. Um, doing eleven points of damage. Not bad. All, all right. right. Take it. Bear. All right. First off, as a bonus, I'm going to use Vow of Enmity. Um, I choose the creature, and he gains. I gain advantage on attack rolls against it for one minute or two drops to zero HP. Ooh, I like that. To uh, take my pipe, I'm going to try and cut the vines that are wrapping around that one right now. Okay. Downward mode to see if I can cut as many vines as I can. Yeah. Okay, so you're not really trying to attack him, you're just trying to break him free. Well, I mean, I assume I was still attacking him. Uh, like he's part of the vines, right? The monster? Uh, yes. But, like, the, the intent of, like, what you're trying to do is slightly different. So, like, which, would you rather try to free him or attack him? I'll give you away. I'm going to attack him for this, for this okay. first time. Yeah. <coughs> Six to is the first. Seven. It's five, so we're <laughs> Sixteen plus, uh, I mean, it hits. That's not going damage. Yeah, hold on. So then, D10. Is this D10? Yes. Yeah, it's these guys. Yeah. Okay, uh,. Six. Yeah, six. Six damage? Yeah. All right. All right, so you uh, rear back and take a whack at this thing, and you see another chunk of it fly off. And, uh, six points. All right. You can see it's, yeah, it's starting to, like, there's, yeah, it's got some singed parts and chunks that have been hit out of it and everything. It's not as fresh as it was. Um, starting out, Stoic. All right, so he's, you said he's starting to get sucked into where there's still parts of him a little exposed, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I would like to circle around the front of him without leaving his hit radius, and then if I could do my bonus action and action at the same time, because I'd like to have my bonus action help distract. <laughs> what I'd like to do is have my spiritual weapon swing at his head, and while that's happening, I want to grab any part of him that I can and cast <clears throat> and cure wounds. Okay. I will just say that that's, that that's doable, because that'll be my action and my bonus action and my movement. But, <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, okay. uh, so roll your attack on the spiritual weapon first. Alright. That's 15. Uh, 15 hits. Alright, so that'll be 8 damage. And then I will grab Bala, any part that I can, and cast Cure Wound, which is 7, 8, 9, plus 3, so that's 12 points nice. of You will have to, you can move through the spiritual weapon, yeah. you have to move over here, basically, that's to get around to him without that's fine. taking an opportunity. And that ends my turn. Alright, so you see that flash again as the hammer comes down on the on the creature as it uh, like stumbles a little bit uh, forward and you feel as you're like blind straining against this thing and, and uh, just in this darkness this crushing stuff happening with you, you do feel this something grab your foot and like warmth start to to come through you which Helps restore you, but you are still being slowly crushed. Yes. Uh, Asura. Longbow's been <laughs> treating me good, so I'm going to keep holding on to this longbow, and hopefully I'm getting something good with it. Do it. Stop concentration. That's good to do. 16? Right. And I'm still taking advantage of my, yep, at my, at my advantage here. Well, I'm, I'm going to roll again? Yeah, you have advantage on the rolls. Six. Okay. So we're going to let the 16 work. Yeah. Uh, and then these guys. Five, five, 
on. Ten again. Ten points. Not bad. Uh, the dragon's about to last for a whole minute. Yeah, for a long time. Okay. Pretty much. And then for the rest of my nest, if you want to use I'd it. like to get closer, so I'm like kind of behind sexy healing hands. Uh, if you get yeah. disarmed. Not like right, right behind him, but like True. much closer. You have to yeah. do unarmed strikes and yeah. bring that. <laughs> and I whisper into his ear, hello, sexy healing hands. <laughs> <laughs> Valen, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, good. That's one of my don't have it. I'm not proficient in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is 12. Does not save. So, it, was either, it was either help you and give you advantage uh, or fine. heal you. Uh, that's <laughs> totally fine. I'm good with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, with this crushing, you take 15 points of damage. Uh, Out. Oh. oh. No. no. That was exactly what I had. Good. No. Oh, you okay. feel this crushing. You feel like the wind just mm, being okay. crushed ah. out of you as you just fade. Ah. To yeah. black. So, uh, as long as I don't go down, we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, then don't go down. <laughs> well, let, let, me use, let me use my squishy body as a human shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's blacked out. Uh-huh. Ah. Not good, Captain. Ah. Not good. All right. Yeah, it is its turn. <laughs> okay. so we're gonna, you're inside. We're going to say you're inside. I'm going to jump away here. Um, you classic. I'm going to do saving throws because I'm inside. Uh, I think it's one that I can have to wait at the base of action. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta waste that shit. What a waste. What a waste. What a waste. Either way, waste it. Waste it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Alright, so it goes after <laughs> Bear. Okay. And takes uh, two <laughs> slam attacks against you. 25 to hit. Yep. We might have to do some stabby stabs around the way. Yeah, so that's six <laughs> points of damage. Okay, I'll take that. And then uh, 23 to hit. Oh. Yep. Uh, so that's uh, nine points of damage. I'll take that as well. That thing. Yes, you will. <laughs> I don't have to. Yeah. I have a thing. Oh, yeah. Minus it. Um, so it hit both of you. So, <clears throat> in similar fashion, as both attacks come down on you, you also find yourself being pulled in. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> uh, inside, as you are now restrained, uh, blinded, and unable to breathe. Easy. Oh, well, you can't be that healthy. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> mm. Of course it's healthy. It's organic. <laughs> it's organic. Of course. Eat your vegetables before they eat you. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so Kale is very you? powerful. <laughs> Kale's very powerful. Mm-hmm. This thing spit? fights like Kale tastes. <laughs> <laughs> did, it, did it spit him out when it sucked him? Nope. In, or are they both? No, he's they're both out. in this okay. thing now. Okay. It's like a giant jello mold. You it? have completely lost any visual of him. That's why, that's why I was asking. Yeah. Like he is being sucked in. Uh, okay. So I have to be able to touch you to see you. Alright, I'm gonna. Feeling good about that magic missile. I think it's, I can chip it away just a little deeper. Yep. A little deeper. Feel real good about these. Second or first level? It's first level. Right. Yeah. Three darts. Yeah. Yeah. However many you need. I don't trust these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fair. I mean, this point is down for yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Four, four, three. Much Woo. better. That's five, ten, ten plus four, fourteen points of damage. Much right. better. Much better. How do you want to do it? Yeah! I knew he wasn't close. It's always, 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 it's always
always threes. Yeah, it's always threes. Is it trifecta? My sauciness. <laughs> That's all I say. <laughs> there they go. I say, release them. All right. Master. Yeah, so you say that, and uh, letting it, you know, letting it go out of your hand, you see those three darts like str- uh, zip through the air again. Uh, each three of them hitting it in what it's it's kind of formless face. You see its head like kind of jerk backwards three times, and on that third time, you hear that low rumbling that's been going this whole time. Yes. And you see this like <laughs> kind of like. Like sits down, all, uh, not sits down, but like kind of set, settles for a second, and then starts to like slowly fall apart as mm. pieces and chunks of it just kind of crumble into this lifeless mound of rotten vegetation and earth mm. uh, that falls apart. So I'm free now. Uh, you are able to get free now that you feel it, kind of like. Uh, stops crushing you and everything uh you know you're technically buried but you're able to kind of get yourself free yeah, and, I'm, I'm you know, emerge dead. from this stuff yeah I'm, I'm like i just have my dagger and really i'm just dead. tacking like hacking away to try to get towards him okay uh yeah do um do a uh uh do an athletics check both of you like to, hmm. to pull the stuff away and <laughs> what are you? Uh, I, I, I got a, I'm a two, but let me check. Um, um, yeah. Four. <laughs> thirteen? No, thirteen? Okay. Yeah, you're able it takes I'll a minute. You. You're able to like pull these they're they're kind of like large chunks, like uh, it smells absolutely worse than it did when it was still together. It's mm-hmm. like <laughs> it's so bad. on it's, the other side. Yeah. It's, it's, whatever was holding it together was also holding some of the smell in, and it is just kind of like slimy and like you know like the slimy dark green vegetation and everything. And mm. um, until you finally see a hand and are able to grab it and, and basically pull Valen out so as you. Am I just like? Yanking on that one twig while she's just like <laughs> <laughs> five nice. limbs out of there, <laughs> more or less. Like you just you're you're, you're kind of like not very effective. At okay. Everything. Okay. Um, I got the leaves <laughs> off. <laughs> so you're able to pull him out. Uh, and all right, the moment I can get a hand on him, I am casting cure wounds at the first level. Right. Right. One d8. Totally so worth six. It. So that's six points. Six points. Mm-hmm. As as the light of Pilar slowly fades from my hands into you. You awake, like slowly, groggily coming to, uh, like just covered in nastiness oh, and, yeah. and you know soaking wet and just like still in pain. A lot of pain still. Mm-hmm. You're still pretty rough. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, waking up in her arms as as she's holding <laughs> up ab- above the water while uh, he heals you and everything. It's much better than in my arms, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wakes up. Uh, Who was <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> Just barely. Welcome back. It. <laughs> a little easy here. Took it down for you. First one. No sweat, yeah. Good job. Let me tell you something, sir. Yeah. Right. So, with the beast uh, apparently slain, uh, as uh, Valen is recovering, and you all catching your breath and recovering from two of you being nearly swallowed alive mm-hmm. and consumed by this thing, that's where we're going to take a break. <laughs> we will uh, be back in about ten minutes. Uh, which time we uh, may have, uh, we'll, we'll have a little bit of a. We're actually going to have uh, the first character trailer. We're going to be doing one for <laughs> each character, but it is Asura Vapula who you're yeah. going to see uh, with amazing, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> amazing artwork by uh, Sin Watson. Um, just did incredible, and mm-hmm. uh, you'll be able to see that as well as some uh, interviews uh, talking about making this uh, show happen. 
So we will be back in about 10 minutes. I have learned to be invisible. Invisible to those who have something I need or want. Invisible to the guards. Invisible to my enemies. I have even accomplished something no thief before me has. I have become invisible to myself. For I cannot be bear to look at my own reflection. But is this all there is to me? Is my invisibility simply matching the hollowness I feel inside? I have to know who I am. I have to know if redemption is possible. So I will use all my power to seek that which terrifies me the most. To truly be seen. And perhaps along the way, slit a few throats of those who do not deserve to be seen. Fun time, uh, I think, came from this desire that I've always had, probably since high school, to kind of do my own thing. To not be kind of tied down by your nine to five job. Um, and I tend to be a very creative person, I like creative outlets. And this creating some kind of stream, live stream channel, uh, gave me that opportunity to flex my creative muscles. And it's really challenged me in ways I did not anticipate but I also wanted to do something that would benefit those around me. I've always been someone that has really enjoyed when other people get to pursue their dreams and their passions and just to see them light up and come alive. And I had a lot of friends around me, a lot of people around me who were very creative and who love to do things like videography or storytelling or acting. And I wanted to provide an opportunity that for them that might not otherwise be there. Uh, and I think the second reason I would really want to do this was because I wanted to, to find a way to plug in and get connected more with the geek community. Uh, it's such a fascinating group of people to be with. They're so eclectic and there's a, it, it involves so many different fandoms and ideas and uh, to get to, to communicate with them and talk with them and build a community with them uh, has been a, a dream of mine for a while. The reason that we decided to start with the Everwind Chronicles is uh, 
partially because of our love for D and D. Especially, I, I'm a huge D and D nerd. To have this outlet to create a story, cooperative story with other players, other people, uh, and get that community aspect as well was something I was very passionate about. And as I began to talk with Doug about his vision for it and kind of where he wanted to go with it, and we were talking about this building out this universe where other stories could be told, where we could create uh, maybe short stories or comic books or even other shows set within that universe. Uh, it really kind of, it almost took on a life of its own and became a, a passion project for the both of us where we were just so involved and excited and ready to make this happen that it naturally became the, our primary focus as far as what show we were going to put on there. And so one of the ways we decided to go a little bit differently about this is to approach it as if it was a TV show or a movie uh, rather than a game. And so all of the promo, all of the um, content that's going to go come out around it, everything is about the story. And D&D &D is just the way we're telling the story. Uh, so Everwind was actually born uh, in a different D&D campaign uh, that Larry and Jeb and I were all a part of in the past. I wanted to create a world that as much as possible felt real. That includes a lot of variety. It's not all dark, it's not all light and cartoony, it's not all good, not all bad. Um, there's just a lot of variety, a lot of different feels, uh, where if you go into one city, it feels different than going into another city. Like each country has its own um, cultures and uh, habits and, and you know values. Because I am a believer that D&D's at the heart is, is about consequences, both good and bad. And so I wanted to create a world that was rich enough and deep enough that the things that the players do will have uh, widespread consequences uh, depending on what they choose to do. So when we were looking at potential players to, to invite and, and have join in this, uh, really this journey of storytelling, we wanted ones that uh, would buy in to the vision that Doug and I had for telling a story with the, the not not just players playing a campaign or anything like that, but that were actually going to be a part of collaborative and cooperative storytelling. And it's something else that's really important with any set of players you have in any really any campaign in D and D is chemistry. You need to have players that work well together or play well together that can kind of play off of each other and are willing to kind of step out and try these things and be open to whatever because it's it's I mean it is a game of improv you have to kind of play off of each other to some degree and we understood that chemistry is going to be a big part of that and I think we really we're excited because we've got these players that have really meshed well together and we knew that at the end of the day, people are going to watch for the players. The players are the heroes of the story. They are the ones that people will get emotionally attached to and invested in. And so we needed players who were going to dive in and be invested themselves so they can create characters with that balance of having fun, but also emotional depth and motivation and a depth to their story that the viewers will fall in love with, uh, right along with them. And I have to say as a DM, as I've been working with each of them on their individual characters, I've been blown away by uh, just how much each of the players have put into their characters. These characters really are um, rich characters that are gonna carry this story um, in really exciting ways. I am super excited to see them in this world uh, and see how they react to all the things that, that are thrown at them. Because I really do think these are characters that are deep enough to be compelling and deep enough to want to keep coming back to see what happens with them. We really believe that we have something here that can be successful. Uh, we are really excited about everything we've got planned and where this can go. Uh, and we are passionate and driven to make it happen.
welcome back to the Everwind Chronicles. Uh, we well, just we didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> well, so barely. <laughs> Went unconscious. There's a difference. As we have already seen, uh, the world is not entirely friendly and uh, sometimes viciously unfriendly. Um, so, as the giant creature. Uh, was defeated and falls apart into the swamp, and Valen is uh, healed and starting to recover. Uh, that's where we pick up. How are we going to... This thing kind of just fell apart. How are we going to get proof? <laughs> we brought us brought in the woods, but you know, <laughs> please pay us. <laughs> somewhat together? Do an or something that resembles a head? <laughs> I don't do nature. Um, that would be that would be a natural one. <laughs> With a zero adder, so it looks like a pile of uh, stuff to you. I'm just kicking the wall. <laughs> Can I like sift through stone, the this is wood. <laughs> to see if there's anything that would I don't know that would give it I don't know give it life like uh, some kind of heart or anything <clears throat> that might. Uh, yeah, so do an investigation. 18. 18, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, as you're digging mm. around, uh, you are able to... <laughs> Since I'm already covered in all this line, I'm just like... In, like hand, yeah, just go for yeah, it. Just go for it. Like, it's a, it doesn't even matter at this point. Alright, alright. Alright, so, as you are digging through... Uh, just going for it and kind of like moving these big chunks of uh, and yeah like it's it is pretty darn disgusting it's like a, a will of like monk training discipline <laughs> to not grow up yes. uh, to just yes um, and it gets Strong worse as you find <clears throat> it gets worse as you start finding uh, what looks like um, slime covered uh, like chunks of flesh yep, and bones and uh, like nothing like intact it's like all pieces but you see you know like what is clearly bones with flesh still on it but like rotting and um, ah. you know it's like you go to pull a bone it's like it slides and some of the flesh comes <laughs> yeah <you know. laughs> Um, nope. as you are seeing like even bits of cloth and just you know what looks like the remains of things that you know what you assume is people it's consumed it's people <laughs> the green is people <laughs> well uh, in the process of this search uh, you find like I said those various bits you find um, like a like a small shovel where the wood seems to be a lot of like rotted. You see a, a, like a, oh, a uh, like a looks like a, a hoe, you know, like used for, okay. for like farming type yep. stuff. You yep. see um, what looks like a like a chipped <laughs> and kind of broken axe. You see um, a sword that looks fairly normal to your eyes. Um, you do see a set of uh, chain mail um, that's also covered in. Nastiness. <laughs> um, you are able to find a almost decayed leather pouch uh, with some gold in it, uh, about twenty-five gold. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, boys. I will keep track of this for all of us. Um, and so the closest thing you find is a lump that. Uh, you looks like it may have been the head with those kind of like branch-like teeth in it. Um, it doesn't seem to have eyes that you can see, um, but it it seems to have what may have been sort of a mouth. But uh, that's probably the closest thing you. It's not like from. a skeleton necessarily, but like. Yeah, there's definitely no skeleton that yeah. you can tell from this. Uh, basically, it really does yeah. seem to be some sort of. Literal, just like, uh, you know, uh, conflagration of nastiness and just earth, rocks, vegetation, everything that somehow is held together 
uh, and is just anything else you find seems to be the stuff that's consumed along the way. Well, I, uh, I think I found the villagers, and this looks to the best of my knowledge to be the head of the creature. We could take this back with us and use it as proof. Take back the bits and bobs that we found inside as well. The yes. the hoe and the shovel and the chain mail and just this is all that we found that is left of these people. And maybe even try try to take back some of the remains mm-hmm. so that maybe they can have a proper burial. I think that's wise, yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's a good Do you still have the, the dragon breath? <coughs> <laughs> I mean, it may smell, but no fire. It's pretty hard to spell anything over this <laughs> this no, the remains of this creature. That was a Kama I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, I'll, I'll carry the head since I'm, again, just covered in all this stuff anyway. Just pick up the head and. Okay. I don't mind taking the remains. Okay. I have the leather pouch. <laughs> of gold. <laughs> of how much gold? 25 gold. Mm. Minus. Oh, I dropped the pouch. I don't know. Alright. <laughs> 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 so, this time I actually know how much gold is in it. What? This time I actually know how much gold is in it since I was there. Uh-huh. That's right. Well, we better head back. The sooner we let them yes. know this thing is gone, the sooner they can all rest easy. Yes. Um, how are you? Health-wise, still a banged up. Put a hand on your shoulder. I give you five hit points. Awesome, I'll take them. I would like to sit down and rest for a minute, but I think we should get out of the water first. Yes, let's continue back. Mm. I want to do an Arcana check to another pile of of wood, just to make sure. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing else is here. Nothing else is going to pop out and and, and, and annoy us. Okay. Um, Let's do a little Arcana check. All right, um, that is a twenty-two. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So as you investigate it, uh, you know, moving a little bit of it around as much as you can. Um, yeah, an you... investigation, I guess. So yeah, no more. Than... Yeah. Well, which one are you doing? That's a good question. Um, I'll do Arcana. That's what I said. All right. So uh, specifically looking for kind of magic evidence of magic or evidence magic of any kind of magical yeah. like. Essence to it. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as you can tell, it looks like it's just a mound of vegetation and, and earth. It doesn't seem to be. Fair it doesn't move when you touch it, uh, and it's. <laughs> it does. You don't seem to see anything that indicates magical okay. um, <clears throat> nature happening. There. All right. Fair enough. What do you think gave this thing life? Hmm. Sometimes, I think too simply, but the dream could be related. I don't think it matters what. I think it matters why and who. Mm-hmm. But this thing started attacking the village long before our dream. That's true. That's true, yeah. read in places where druids could do things like this, but I mean, this one doesn't look like there's any evidence of a master around here somewhere. Mm-hmm. It's true. And if there was, why were they sicking on a village? You guys are welcome to roll nature checks to see if you guys know anything. Okay. I don't understand. Fair <laughs> enough. I'm pretty good on nature. <laughs> 21. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna put my dice down. This guy can't roll during a fight. I know, right? Except for a nat 20. As long as you can roll one. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so 21. Uh, yeah, so as you, um, before you left for your journey, um, you got a minor education, like, on some of the creatures that are out in the world. Um, and it's like, you don't have a deep knowledge of any, of most of them, and, uh, even... I mean, the, the monks there are not, you know, monster <clears throat> hunters by any means. Like, they're mm-hmm. not, 
Like it's not really a scholarly organization, but they have monks that travel, and so they've they've run into different things and uh, know something, or at least know rumors of things. Um, and uh, one of the accounts that you read before you left talked about something called a shambling mound, um, which is uh, basically a creature found often in swamplands or sometimes forests uh, and that sort of thing that is uh, brought to life by some sort of magic. It doesn't he doesn't really know anything about the nature of it, except that the description seems to match. It, it describes some big creature seemingly made out of plants um, that just seems to consume everything around it and uh, moves pretty slowly. Mm-hmm. That's about all the, the account said. Um, so just basically if a hill starts moving towards you, run. You know, like... <laughs> um, yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, and so that's that's basically kind of what you know from okay. there. And it sounds like something that... It sounds like this matches yeah, that description. I, I relay that to everyone. It's like... Mm. I think we should just go back. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Okay. That was a shambling mound, yeah. I just want to get out of this disgusting, swampy, nasty, sweaty, <laughs> smelly place. I want to be dry and I want to be warm. Seconded. I'm gonna be clean. Seconded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you guys gather up what you're gonna gather, which, uh, by the way, you're not able to find much. It's like a few little okay. bones, yeah. like bone fragments. Um, it looks like it's like even kind of absorbing or consuming the bones to a degree. Like it's not <laughs> like the bones are just staying there mm-hmm. um, intact. Mm. But you're able to grab a few, and uh, that seem newer. Um, you know, also some of it's still covered in rotting flesh, and some of it's still like it's it's just not not a very pleasant thing to hold. Um, but you gather some of that in your arms, and you get you hoist the head up on your shoulder uh, and start making your, your way in that long three-hour slog back towards the trail, um, and. Uh, Still feeling even more exhausted after your fight. Still feeling this trudge through this water uh, is just kind of sapping you of, of all energy. Uh, but after three hours, you finally reach the trail again. Just at this point, thankful to, to be on solid ground <laughs> again. Um, pulling yourself up onto the trail and then kind of like slowly making your way, feet almost dragging. Uh, down this trail uh, towards back towards Etchlin. Uh, by this time, it's about six o'clock. Uh, the sun is is uh, it's still up, but it's you know it's starting to get towards twilight. Um, as you uh, finally see these buildings in the distance, you're like, "Holy crap!" I can finally sit down. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you go into the village and you notice. Uh, you know, toward the area in the center where you had talked uh, to Hadrick uh, the first time, you see there's a, a very small gathering, like group of people, and some kind of small commotion happening. And um, you know, they're all talking, and you uh, you just hear uh, Hadrick saying like, "Will you calm down? I, I don't know what you want us to do. We help if we can, but we we ain't got nothing. Our long man's gone." I uh, don't know what you want and uh, just calm down um, and they as this kind of commotion is happening here they all stop and and turn at the sight of the slime and mud and or, you know just encrusted <laughs> monk carrying this lump of something oh, yeah. uh, just <laughs> coming into this village just like. <laughs> 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 um, uh, and I assume you go up to Hadrick or? Yep. Just take the head and just. We'll, we'll throw it down on the ground because I've been carrying it for three hours. Yes. I'm like, I'm done. Your arm is sore, yep. like 
stiff from being in this you know, position. Your your shoulder is mm-hmm. sore because it's not a like light oh, yeah. thing. Uh, and it's like there's this thud in the you know a little splatter of mud as this thing hits the hits the ground, with, you know, and uh, everyone just kind of looks and everything, and and uh, Hadrick just kind of what well, they expect you back that quick. Well, good we'll to see you live. We're, uh, we're barely, pretty good. Barely. Well, uh, I've seen people in better states. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Oh, well, mind you, not. What, what's that? <laughs> what? Nice. What's this at my feet? That would be the head of the monster. So he kind of uh, he he looks at it and kind of frowns. He's like, "What is? She, what is she? I don't know what this is. You show sticks in it." What? Shambling mound. Shambling mound. Shambling. Yeah, this would be a shambling mound. A shambling what? Mound. Are you talking about a hill? That's yes. That's word for it. A, a hill who likes to consume people. Mm. We kill it and we bring back the remains of your peoples. You hear like one of the other villagers is like, oh, yeah, that's, that's just vegetation, you know, stuff. That's just mud. That's just a clump of mud they stuck some sticks in. What, what I think we are. Point towards the remains that are, I guess, still in your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a, a holy man or a church for burial? <laughs> These are the remains. <clears throat> he doesn't take them. He just kind of <laughs> like looks like, like this is disgusting. Um, uh, he just kind of like he's, he kind of looks confused. Um, roll a persuasion check. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, man. that's not going to go well. It shouldn't uh, let me do this. Negative <laughs> one. Oh, that'd be a six. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, we're useless. <laughs> Charismatic AF right here, man. I'm telling you. I got the <laughs> Let's click, please. <laughs> I can say a few words. <laughs> But uh, it didn't look like a head to me. I, I, I come up with some bones and covered in mud and say, slay a beast. I, I, I just kind of throw the <coughs> bones at the feet. Believe what you want. Those are your villagers. We have slain the beast. You're welcome. Can I use thaumaturgy to turn my eyes red? <laughs> You can. <laughs> I would like to use thaumaturgy to turn my eyes red. Oh boy, what is going on? You're going to turn my eyes red. We could always bring it back to life if you would like. You see, like, there's... <laughs> make, a, make an intimidation check. I will. Good, I hope I do good. Intimidation? Okay. 15? No, wait. 13. 14, 15. Yeah, 15. <laughs> no, wait, no. No, no, no. Uh, so you, uh, like, basically doing this, everyone sort of, like, gets a, there's an immediate reaction. And everybody just, like, starts, like, they take a step back and everything, and just, like, you just start hearing, like, angry, like, No! Oh, it's a did. devil! It's a devil, it's a demon! We need to get out of here! They're, they're trying to trick us! It's a demon trying to trick us! <laughs> I can't <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you wanna cut that out? <laughs> you are very quickly hearing this gathering discontent here. Are you saying what, something? No, I was gonna about to. Oh, we're gonna cast another spell and see how that goes? <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was going to, but I'm out of second level. Um. Man, um, I ruined it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't start off well, so. Mm. I just look at a sir. Can, can you? Can you? Can you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody, <laughs> calm down here. Calm down. Calm down. You're seeing like people picking up rocks, like they're they're. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ready to like beat they're, me? They're watching you, but they're like. Yeah. You hired us to do a job. We went into your woods, and we did it. This thing attacked us and was the size of an elephant. 
have elephants, but they're rather large. Okay. We almost lost one of our comrades slaying it. And the only thing left inside of there, your villagers, unfortunately, are the few remains that we have, plus the chainmail and, like, did we bring, I'm assuming we brought the farming gear with us. Yeah, the hoe, the shovel, we like to lay axe, down. sword, chainmail. We search for any possibilities of anybody remaining alive, and there wasn't. This thing, whatever it is, raised from a mound and attacked us. We weren't, if you like, you are more than welcome to follow us back into the swamp and we can show you the rest of it. But this was all we were carrying back with us. So Hadrick speaks up again. He's like, Chime Mile, you say. I knew that. Chime Mile. Yes, yeah. Chainmail. Yeah. Did any of your did any of the we people say, taken wear Chainmail? We say, where is it? I just remember taking it. I had the remains. We did the chainmail and the hose. Okay. Like we grabbed as much stuff as we could. Here. So he takes it and, and looks at it, and a couple other like villagers like lean in and look at it too and everything. And they're kind of like whispering at each other and everything. Um, make another persuasion check. Yes. Yes. I was trying to let you, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good to you. Persuasion. We're not good at talking. We're not good at talking to people. <laughs> we're not good at talking to people. Eleven for us now. We're the persuaders. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, you hear one of the villagers like, "Oh yeah, he looks looks like Aldridge. Yeah, looks like." And he uh. He kind of looks at, he looks at, starts looking at the other equipment too and everything, he picks up the sword and, <laughs> and yeah, you see the, the other ones kind of nod and everything and, and uh, so, well, I don't know about this, this mound or whatever, I'll leave from me, but, uh, I don't know about them bones, but, uh, this looks like our lawman's chainmail and sword. Uh, We'll, we'll make sure you're paid. That's all we ask. Uh, if, if it's what it seems, then, then much thanks. But uh, I've got to say I'm a little surprised to see a priest associate with the devil threatening us. She's not nearly as devil as she seems. Don't let the looks deceive you. I've got the eyes on fire, mate. <laughs> Oh, and I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> High beam drop. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll make sure you'll pay, but uh, I think everybody's going to be more comfortable if you if you make your way on out. We can do that. If it was, yeah. Um, Just like you. <laughs> you, um... <clears throat> so, as the... As the as he like uh, gets out, uh, he starts getting the, the pouch out and everything from at his waist, and starts counting out coins and everything. Um, a woman steps up who is um, she's she's fairly plainly dressed, but it's clearly she's clearly dressed slightly nicer, and it's like a light blue dress. Um, that's it's a pretty normal dress, but it's um, it's it's clearly not the same garb as everybody else in this town is wearing. Mm -hmm. um, and she steps up and says, well, now wait a minute. What, what about them? Could they help me? And uh, as he's counting out the coins, Hedrick's just like, he just kind of shrugs and he's like, well, they all sell swords. And maybe they sell their sword to you. <laughs> 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 he, uh, he hands, uh, hands right, you a pouch. Right. Or hands you a pouch, sorry. Um, no. Well, yeah. 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 No! It's my pouch! I keep track of the coin. We'll count it later, not in public, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, actually, so, like I said, uh, do your business quickly and get out of here. You'll be on your way. And he, uh, he leaves and walks off. Uh, hmm. So the woman who's talking to you, um, she seems um, she 
seems fairly plain, like maybe pretty in a certain way, but not not uh, just strikingly beautiful. But she's definitely not ugly either. Um, seems fairly plain. Seems fairly. Um, um, she's got you know, long um, uh, brunette hair, um, kind of loosely tied in a in a ponytail that's over her shoulder here. Um, and she's got her hands kind of folded with this worried look, and as she she looks at you, and, and it's like, so you're sell swords? Wouldn't call us that, but what do you need? Well, um, Duke Poulton, um, in Midreach, um, a few days to the west, to the east, um, his child Selena's gone missing, um, and. Well, truth be told, she's not the only one, the only child going missing from Midreach. Um, but hmm. poor Selena, she's gone missing, and we, he sent people to every town um, that, that he can asking for help, and he's, he's asked the king for help, but help's not coming. So we're trying to find help anywhere we can. I'm sure that uh, Poulton is, is wealthy, and he's, he's generous. I'm sure that he could reward you properly if you could help. Where's the problem? What was the age of the child? That got missing. What was the age? The age? Yes. Age. Yes. I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I, was, <laughs> I speak a different language from the high elves than ever would. I'm sorry. It's very well, sophisticated. <laughs> I'm a simple farmer, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know much about the world. Um, her age? Uh, well, she yes. she's. Oh, I think she's about ten. Okay. Um, the ages of the children have been different that have disappeared. Um, <clears throat> oh. But all children. Yeah. Oh, by my account, probably about fourteen. The children. Mm. Children. How long has this been going on? Oh, it's been probably over two months. Maybe more. I don't know. Like, I mean, sometimes children do disappear or get meet wild animals or anything, but this many. Mm-hmm. And the Duke protects his daughter. I don't know how she disappeared. Mm-hmm. She's taken out of the castle. I don't know how that happened. Hmm. And the Duke's name again was? Holton. Duke Polton. Polton, yeah. And your name? Oh, I'm Bitha. Bitha? Yeah. Asura. Easy. Yes. Bitha. My name is Asura. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> um, pleased to meet you. Mm-hmm. Asura. Sure. Asura. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, will you come with me? Will you help? Well, where are you taking us? To Midreach. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, you of course. to the west. Yes, sure. Yes. yes. Can I bathe, <gasps> eat, and sleep, though? It sounds like they're ready to kick us out of this town. Bisa, do we have anywhere well, to go? Well, I can disappear. Dry off. <laughs> Get some good, oh. nice food. Well, it doesn't sound like you've made too many friends here. <laughs> um, it might be best to, to travel a little bit and then find a place to camp. Um, if, that's right. all, if that's all right. How about this? I go to Stoic and I get my cut for the gold. Whatever it is. I don't know what it is. But is I, I haven't counted uh, it yet. Haven't counted it yet? It's rude to talk about money. <laughs> In public? <laughs> no, I'm going to give it to her. It's not rude. It's polite. <laughs> and efficient. Mira. We'll go ahead and give you this, this gold to see if we can stay here in town, if that's okay. That helps out. Oh, well, city. I'm not in charge of the town. I don't live here. This is not my town. I was sent here from Midreach to find help. Ah. She can just covert yeah. grab us some food and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. It's like... Sure. I give her my share of the gold. Oh, well, this is far too much for food. I, I mean, I can get you food. Well, yeah. you bring the change back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 when mother gives you a 20, you don't, you don't pack it. Yes, yes, sir. 
Ubita, whatever it is, I, I take it we'll all be more than happy to help to help you, but it's not happening tonight. So it's we're gonna. You said it's west to your village. Yeah, it's three <clears throat> three days walk from from here. West, a little north. Well, we're gonna. Are there east. Any, sorry. Are there any villages between here and there? Um. Yeah, about a day's back uh, the way I came, I, I passed through another village, yeah. Hmm. Well, it's alright with you guys. I'm thinking we have her take that money she was just giving and get us some food and supplies and meet us about an hour west out of here where we can go set up camp and recoup for a little bit. I'm good with that. Yep. Sure. Good that works. Yeah. Alright, well, if you follow that road, um, I will, I'll, I'll get what I can. And then come meet you and find you along the road. Uh-huh. Can someone stay just outside of the gates of town to walk with her? Mm. I don't want her walking alone at night. As long as it's not you. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gone. Bye. Bye. I um, mean, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't worry. I think Bear, Bear will do it. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you guys make your way down the road, um, you know, probably about uh, an hour, hour and a half or so. Um, and uh, find a little patch kind of off the off the path where you can you think you'll be able to set up a little camp there. Um, and you uh, basically kind of hang out and rest for a little bit. And uh, about an hour after that, um, you see uh, Bitha coming and. Um, She's got uh, what looks like a mule um, that she's kind of brought with her, um, with her kind of packs and everything. And you also see she's got um, a couple of like large sacks, um, and uh, she she comes and uh, she pulls off one sack and and says, um, "Well, they they didn't have much, um, but they they did have." You know some, um, you know swamp pheasants uh, that they they killed. So I was able to get three of those for you, which should feed you. Um, and I also, I also pulled uh, a few bags of water for you, so you could clean up. It seems like you'd want to. Mm-hmm. Kind of looking at you. Yes. I did. Okay. Much cool. appreciated. Um, during that hour and a half. I would I would count it. How much? What? How, I would count it. How much money did did uh, Hendrick give us? One hundred and fifty. And I was definitely watching straight over his shoulder the whole time. <laughs> All right. One hundred fifty split five ways. That should be thirty. So. Yeah. Uh, so she. Which I would have divvied up. So we okay. But I gave her my shit. Yours is gone. Yeah. But so she okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Each, each, each so she's keeping that money. Hmm? Just keeping that one? Yeah. Okay. It's my goodwill. Alright. Got it good. <laughs> <laughs> so now that Easy's not all about, about the coin. What about that 25 we found at the swamp? Ah, uh, great question. I don't know where it could be. Well, that's alright. And I hand her five of the 30 from the split. <laughs> uh-huh. And then I slide of hand the other 25. You can try. You can try, but like you lost the 25. You don't have enough to split it between the rest of us. That's coming out of your share. <laughs> so, 30, 30. Sexy ceiling. I would keep one eye open when you sleep tonight. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. But, oh, I don't know where, was good. About where I come from. That was good. One plus one is two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Uh, so, as you guys are kind of settling in, as you're washing oh, off, absolutely. And, yeah, uh, eating and cooking and everything, she's, um, you know, Bitha's. Uh, basically asking like if you, if you, I, I don't know much about you know sell swords or adventures I don't really I haven't really left like the farms around 
mid-reach much, but um, if you don't mind me asking, it seems like a strange collection of, of people. Um, what, what brought you together? Miss Forson? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what misfortune? Mine. <laughs> what happened? She kind of leans forward. Like, <laughs> I can't hold it. Um. <laughs> Sweet child, he's being dramatic. I am. I am. Oh. We uh, took a job together. Oh. It's been beneficial, I think, for all of us. Yes. Mm, sometimes. Yes. Uh. <laughs> well, what sort of job? <laughs> what was that job? <sighs> the bandits. Yeah. The the waterfall. Yes. The smiling men. No, 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 no. Yes. Different, different set of bandits. Ah, oh, the the when you cut his head off. Yes. Yeah. Mm, yes. Dormouse. Where, <laughs> where we got one hundred less gold coin because you cut his head off. He was trying to kill me. I would not say it again. <laughs> What kind of bandit name is Dormouse? It's <laughs> a good question. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Doroon. Oh. Doroon. Oh, wow. I've heard the name. Well, yeah, he... He was... Uh, the Duke was very mad at him. I think he was robbing... Uh, I don't know. He was robbing something from from the Duke. and He was very angry about it. But there's been a lot more bandits lately. I don't know why. I mean, mm. goblins and all kinds of monsters, and I just don't know what's going on anymore in the world. <laughs> Bitha, <clears throat> how do you know du- Duke Bolton? Oh, everyone knows Duke Bolton. Well, in Midreach. I mean, he's, he's the Duke. He's, he's in, you know, he looks out, laugh after us, and takes care of us. Uh, he's, he's the ruler of this the, the area of Midreach. And, um, you know. But time. how did you get chosen to, to venture out and find people? Oh, uh, well, I just happened to be in the market in, in, uh, this, in his uh, city there, uh, you know, getting supplies and the news broke and he asked for volunteers and I just could the thought of little Selena being um, captured, I've only met her or seen her, I haven't really met her I've seen her, she seemed like such a sweet girl and I just I just couldn't bear the thought of anything bad happening to her so I I volunteered, of course I would Mm -hmm. it's good to us Mm -hmm. that is very brave to venture out into the unknown Mm -hmm. oh well, I'm not as brave as you folks. I wouldn't. I wouldn't chase down bandits for certain. Mm. When you've chased down one, you've chased down them all. <laughs> mm. well, so I don't see how the, that that works. But all right. Well, I say it's all very brave. Mm. Mm, thank you. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. I'm going to brew her a cup of tea. (laughs) (laughs) Mint tea. (laughs) As we've learned. Mint tea. Do a performance check. Oh, no! Oh, no, why do you want to hurt me like this? I thought we were friends. How good is it going to be? I think you're hurting her. Seven. (laughs) Eight, nine. 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 Low average tea. (laughs) You know what? I'm, I'm learning. I'm working on it. Um... All right, so she takes it, and uh, she takes a sip, and is like, oh, anything warm is good. Or, 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 <laughs> She's <laughs> really amenable to my crappy tea. <laughs> Can I also it's good to have something warm after traveling. I'm going to take a sip of it as well, and I'm going to be like, yep. And then warm is good. Mm-hmm. You don't like your own tea? Oh, um, I'm used to a very special type of um, herb that is found in the desert climes, so I'm not used to one so um, earthy. Hmm. I see. See, so you're from you're from the desert, like Al Raqqa. Yes, like Al Raqqa. Oh wow! How did you come here? It's a long way. Yes, took a you little walked. while. Many days, months, years. 
My goodness. So what what brought you here? Well, Arraka is a bad place, and I wanted a better one. Oh, I could see that, I suppose. Mm. What makes Arraka mm. bad? Well, as you can see, more of me are there. Oh, you don't like your own kind? I don't like mm. anybody who hurts other people's. Oh, I see. Unless it's us. I wouldn't like that place either, then. It sounds absolutely terrible. Mm. Mm. Is your it's... place nice? Your village? Your people's? Oh, yes. I mean... My farm is nothing big, nothing grand, but we're happy. Um, and Midreach is a good place to live. He takes care of us. Um, not every village is so lucky to have a good duke, but we are. Mm. Benevolent, yes. I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, he, in, you know, keeps makes sure thieves are punished and makes sure. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if anything bad happens, he'll send his guards to, to take care of things for us and, um, you know, uh, tries to sometimes give us a safe place to do market and give us, uh, chances to trade and, and that sort of thing. I mean, we don't really need much more. Frolan, try some of my pheasant. <laughs> 18! <laughs> this is from special recipe from Everwood. Try. <clears throat> so she takes a she takes a bite and her eyes kinda wide up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like how did you do this? How did you cook this? Like you have to tell me the secret. Oh, I told Jeff I had to kill you for a I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not just a joke. Dramatic. It's just a joke. I'm totally dramatic. Oh, oh. So I gave you all that coin because I like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's very good. I appreciate that you like it. Yes. I hope it replenishes your your good fortune. Mm. We gotta work on your time. Um. <laughs> we don't know how to interact. <laughs> I'm sorry. What about you? you? <laughs> You're very tall. Yes, as I am. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, I'm from up north. The uh, World Thorns up in the uh, north of uh, Oh, wow. I've never met anybody from from all the way up in the, in Northfire. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you travel even further than she did. I suppose so. I had not really look at it. Yeah, I joined the uh, Silver Flames. <clears throat> What are the Silver Flames? It's an order that is dedicated to fighting evil wherever wherever it exists. How wonderfully noble. So you're a knight? Uh, I don't know if you call me a knight. I'm just I'm serving in the order. The order? The order the, the order of the Silver Flames. Okay. Is it like an army? <sighs> I mean we are we are organized. We do work together. But again, I don't know if I call myself a knight. I'm more like a, a warrior, a fighter for the order. Okay. I don't serve a king or anything. I don't have a specific king. Okay. Is that the, the chalice of life? The paladins? Yes. Um, yeah. Actually, yes. That's exactly. We're similar to the chalice of life. I see. I see. Well, you are noble indeed, then. I mean, thank you. <laughs> Is everyone in your order this tall? No, 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 no. There are many races in the uh, Silver Flames. Not, I don't I haven't met many Goliaths in the in my order. They seem to be one of a kind. Hmm. So you're a Goliath. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is that? <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking, is that human? Is it human? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say all human. Call <laughs> me human. I, mean, I, don't know. <laughs> I do dance really well. I do dance really well. Uh, no. Uh, no, it is not. It is a completely different uh, species. Oh, wow. So, like you. 
Well, you're not so much like me. <laughs> I just mean that you're not human. Well, neither are you. In fact, most of you aren't. <laughs> That's true. Are you human? I am. Wow. And what? That's, That's odd clothing. Well, I, I think by this point, the, the he has come off as like, just <laughs> wrenching it. Which, by the way, now that that's off, you have a full view of a an emerald encrusted dragon across my back, mm-hmm. with the tail running up around my side and ending right here at my heart. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yes, I am indeed a human. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you guys over. Did, did that hurt? Just observing. <laughs> the, did, did that hurt? Uh, extremely. How long did it take? Oh, it's it's a process. Uh, it takes several years. I thought green dragons were bad. Well, it's not a green dragon. It's an emerald dragon. Emerald dragons are about healing, about bringing good to the land. Oh, I see. <clears throat> So are you a priest as well? No, uh, I am a monk. Oh. A little bit different. Don't really serve a, a god or any type of religion. Well, who, what do you serve? Uh, an ideal, I guess. Um, we, as a, My order in particular uh, believes in the ideals of the Emerald Dragon, and that is to bring healing, uh, to do good throughout the land uh, as much as we can. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Some people escaping bad and and people trying to do good. Mm -hmm. I suppose I couldn't have picked a better group of people to help. (laughs) (laughs) Debatable. (laughs) We've got the job done so far. That's all right. We definitely are effective, if nothing else. We might die, but then we always come back. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I'm gonna just start getting my bed ready and just, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> alright, well, um, alright, well, 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 thank you for talking with me. Um, I suppose we should all get some sleep. Yes, we can pick this conversation up in the morning, I think. Yes. Indeed. All right, well, good night. Good night. Good night. Unpacks her bed roll. <laughs> to go to sleep, are you guys done? Um, yeah, so, we need to figure out who's taking what what. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I was going to ask. Yes. I mean, we're only an hour out of town, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, do we want to, you really think we need to watch this close to town? Never hurts. Yeah. When trees attack us, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, now that I think we might actually need to watch because of town. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Might, uh, this is true. So might, might, might as well it keeps your eyes so off. Like, yeah, some of them were uh, <laughs> not taken kindly to us, that's for sure. What What's the moon situation tonight? Is it bright or is it dark? Uh, it's about halfway. I'll it's take one of the later shifts where it gets a little darker. Because I've got... I also have dark vision, so I'll be up. So the three of you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can take the darker parts of the night. I guess really four of you need to do an eight-hour... Yeah, like, rotation. Yeah, you can rotation. each do two hours of light activity and an eight-hour rest. So mm-hmm. yeah. uh, So who's the fourth? I'll go ahead and do it. All right. I'll take one of them. I'll, I'll do the first watch. So wait, am I doing the watch? You see dark vision? Yeah, yeah, dark vision. Yeah. yeah, basically the fourth, not bear, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bear gets a full night of sleep. I'll go, I'll go <laughs> second because the early morning watch did not work out well for me last night. <laughs> so, just going to be honest about that. Um, yeah. It's true. So, who's taking third? I'll take third. I'll okay. take any order of watch you want me. Well, I guess you're fourth. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you guys uh, <coughs> go to sleep and um, cover them spell slots. Yeah, so oh, make yeah. sure your your hit points and spell slots are 
Uh, tavern? There's a long rest. You can select oh, the button. You just press it. Yeah, but it doesn't. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. I know, right? This app is... Oh, I wish it was just an app, but the website's nice. So Click right here. Up top, scroll down. Oh, sorry. For easy, long rest. <laughs> try and Beyond. <laughs> Are you wanting an easier way to look at your character sheet? Try D&D Beyond today. <laughs> Join with your friends. Start a campaign. We're not D&D Beyond. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. And I'm going to be yes. like, yeah, but if they want, hey, my name is Tara. It's nice to meet you. Hey. A sort of a pull that says D&D Beyond. Try it today. It's great, yeah. It's great, yes. Great for stealing your party's gold. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Woo! Although not right now, because they caught on to my my grip. Yeah. I've been stealing thought, gold for a while now, but they started to figure out my grip. I have more gold. <laughs> I'm no math wizard, but <laughs> you're no math wizard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different department. Okay. So you guys wake up, uh, you know, uh, fairly refreshed. Um, and uh, you know it's still muggy and still you're still in a swamp, but uh, <laughs> you got a, a pretty decent rest out of that uh, after pretty a little bit deeper sleep than normal after a short night before and uh, slogging through water and everything like that. It was <laughs> yeah, well, much then. needed sleep. Uh, Valen, so, how are you feeling this morning? Much better, rejuvenated, good, and good pheasant. And okay, tea. <laughs> <laughs> the tea was warm. <laughs> the tea was warm. And now what? I'm not going to make y'all any tea next time. How oh, about, man. How about that? No. Oh, that's just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the worst. I can't do anything except hit things and run away and hide. <laughs> but you do it so well. <laughs> My stealth, I'm just like, bye. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. You're so like a fabled warrior, Jonathan Cena. All right. Oh, a sort of a Sorry. I'm sorry. So, uh, as you guys uh, set off uh, down the road, mm-hmm. um, you know, eventually uh, it's probably the majority of the next day you're still in that swamp land, but you eventually, um, you know, in the afternoon, uh, you start, you feel just a slight rise as you start making your way out of this kind of swamp land area okay. um, back into kind of the normal Karandia as you know it, uh, which is um, like a mix of open fields and uh, clumps of trees and patches of forest and, and some hills here and there. And, um, it is in its own right a, a beautiful countryside. Um, and the area that you're in, this this kind of like southern southern and, and eastern areas of Karandia are a lot less settled than the north and, and western parts. And so it's a little bit wilder. So you're, you you run into less, like you cross paths with less people on the road. You uh, there are fewer villages in between. There's just um, not as much, like you know, just kind of civilized life in this area. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> in a, you know, uh, what might be a blessing. Uh, you do get a little bit cooler weather today because um, the sky kind of clears up. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And it's not quite as humid uh, as you're exiting this kind of bog area. I and like the less humid, but why so cold? <laughs> this feels good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> is there anything in particular you guys are trying to do while you travel, or anything you want to do or say? Um, easy. Do you have any more of those peppers that you keep feeding me? <laughs> it's gonna take me some time to find some more rapers for you, uh, but. Uh, but I tell you what, let's find out what this one does again, shall we? Yes! <laughs> let's do it! <laughs> let's cast oh, no. another hey. tree! Oh no! <laughs> what if we did it to yeah. <laughs> No, it's the product. I can handle it. She's a simpleton. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't even know what this one does. <laughs> that's fair. That's a good point, actually. Just for some road entertainment. <laughs> I find a tree within within 30 yards. We're going after trees. We go. <laughs> I, just, I just feel it. The just tree army is going to rise up. I want to know what this one can do. <laughs> I want to know what I'm going for you. I want to know what you're you casting the, the wand again. Wand of mystery. <laughs> the flick of the wrist. For the viewers. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just to catch you up real quick. We did an off. We did some offline sessions, and they bought a couple of different items at, at a shop. One of them is a wand of mystery, uh, and he is trying to figure out what it does because it's a mystery. they don't know. It's a mystery, um, it's a mystery so. All right. So uh, as you're traveling, you pull off the road uh, for a second and walk off and, and uh, take aim at a tree. And uh, activate the wand and release the magic, and you feel that kind of familiar, slight vibration of the wand dispelling magic. Um, and once again, you don't seem to see anything happening. <laughs> anything, I'm consistent, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> two for two for nothing happening. But it feels the magic in me. That's all that counts. What's in your heart? Oh. <laughs> I hope I didn't spot another giant pad monster someplace <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to fight that thing. <laughs> another shambling monster. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to the child. They didn't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's just keep going. <laughs> Bitha, sorry. Like when so, you take a vacation to Abitha. <laughs> That's right. He's letting out Raka. <laughs> <laughs> Al Raka! Wait, uh, <laughs> this music festival. Al Raka. <laughs> Do they have a lot of bards? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> has, has your dude done anything about the children so far? I mean, what all. Obviously, you're out searching for us, but mm. what measures has he taken already? Oh yes, he's sent out soldiers searching, uh, but so far no one's been able to find anything. No, no clues, no suspects, no... Uh, I've heard rumors of suspects, but it seems like they get rounded up and like cleared mm. of their name. Um, they don't seem to be having any success so far. Hopefully we can Which do why it's so terribly wor worrisome that Selena's gone now. Mm. And Selena, is she blood or? Well, wait, is she, is she she's your blood? His, no, not mine. The no. Duke's daughter. Yeah, mm. the Duke's daughter. Yeah. Well, then he may not be a suspect. <laughs> Okay, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> this is investigating to the visit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes my imagination runs away with me. Oh, I don't. Like I said, he's a good governor. I don't hurt Duke. I don't. I don't think he would hurt her. She's also very pretty. You know. Anyone what does visual her. aesthetics have to do with the goodness or badness of an individual? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Must be deceiving, yeah? Oh, I think everyone is beautiful uh, in their own way and inside. Mm -hmm. But I, I, it's the world is not always doesn't always believe that. I mean, uh, pretty people do get treated a little bit better. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> but you're very pretty. Thank you. Oh, did you want to be the safe back? You are a human too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, I know I'm nothing special to look at. It's okay. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but all humans kind of look the same to me. I could see that. Without your for your horns or your forehead protrusions, I cannot tell one from another. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't have those. No. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm nothing if not charming and really good at talking to other people and making them feel good about themselves. I would also like to say that my charisma is actually pretty high. I just am an asshole. 
We really are. We're the best. Yeah. 18. Yeah. We're the 18. Yeah. We're the yeah. best. Yeah, I just was trying to see what information we can figure out that they've already tried and have a better idea what we're walking into. Mm-hmm. So, it doesn't sound like she knows much other than 14 children have disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, it's a mystery. It's been a scandal. It's all anybody can talk about, but nobody seems to know anything. Have they all happened recently, or have they been... Well, over the last couple months. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hasn't Good. been all at once, unless they were... I think there's some siblings that have disappeared at once. But... Do they usually get taken from the home, or they... Or is there other places as well? Um, it seems to be a mix. Like, some are in the streets, some are in a home, some are out in their own farm or when they're out playing or something like that. I mean, it's it seems to... It doesn't, there doesn't seem to be a pattern. Hmm. Have there been any reports of nightmares? <clears throat> nightmares? Well, I suppose everybody has nightmares from time to time. The same nightmare, though. We've had, <coughs> we've had rumors in the last town that there was groups of folk having the same dream. Oh, how terrible. And odd. No, I haven't heard anything like that. Well, it's good. Those people are weird. (laughs) (laughs) Nightmares are just terrible. Agreed. (laughs) Agreed. Uh, I guess we're walking on cool... uh, Stomach aside, just so only he can hear. Why did you lie to the lady <clears throat> about the nightmares? Because they kind of freak me out. <laughs> I don't really want to admit to her that I'm the one having them and that we're the ones having them. Mm. I guess that's a smart idea. They did not. They unsettled me as well too. Mm. Yeah, and well, I think we're unsettling enough as it is that we don't need to. <laughs> Let's make our eyes go red and talk about <laughs> group nightmares. <laughs> that is actually a uh, very smart idea. Oh, man. But she seems like a sweet lady. I didn't want to make her worry. Yeah. So. so you guys ride along a little bit uh, mm-hmm. further and uh, you know, notice that she has a little bit of a frown on her face as she seems to be thinking hard about something and then she finally says, I... I really don't want to be offensive here. Um, and you seem like very good people, but if you find her, you will return her, right? Yes. Of course, Fraulein, yes. We are yeah. not in the market of kidnapping and torturing young children. I, I didn't mean to say that you are. I just I just mean cell swords have, well, sometimes a bad reputation of not really caring and why do they keep calling us sell swords? I do not sell swords. I've never sold swords. One does not sell a sword. One sells their abilities and skills. We are offering our abilities and skills to help other people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mean any of this. I don't know you guys. Is that not what a sell sword is? <laughs> it's. We don't like that term. <laughs> On the tizzy. <laughs> Why? Don't uh, just. It's fine. We didn't. We didn't mean anything by it, but it's not our favorite. Oh. Because of the reactions like you with your stigmas. We steal children. We do terrible things to them. We do not kidnap anybody. Oh no, I didn't mean that. I just. No. I don't know what I meant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry like, to for rushing out. Kind of like hangs her head and like. <laughs> can, can I ride your mule? So <laughs> 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 like, get on that mule. You're gonna break that mule's back. That mule is not gonna survive. Is that a wink, wink, ride your mule? Happy you're killing me, man. I'm wearing full chainmail. Does it look like it would hold me? <laughs> don't, don't do 
Roll, roll persuasion check. <laughs> don't do it! Oh, no! Oh, oh, that's a seven. That's not as bad. I thought it was a one. Um, that is that is a seven. This is a solid seven. This is a solid seven. Oh, man. Oh, sir, I, I'm terribly sorry. Ellie's not really a, a riding horse. Like, she just, she carries things, and she's very good, but she's not very good at carrying people. She's not trained to, to be ridden. That's okay. But Ellie, that's his name? Mm-hmm. Can I pet her? <laughs> like, I'm hopefully not doing this in, like, plain view of everybody. I was like, I'm giddy. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like, I don't think I've ever do, seen do. Stoic so excited about a thing ever. <laughs> Doing animal handling. Oh, oh no! Yes. 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 If you break this, if you break this mule oh, skull, oh my! If you break this mule skull, I'm, I'm over. Yeah, I'm done. I'm going. Oh, to I got a good hit. It's plus. It's plus three, so that's a six. <laughs> <laughs> that's plus three. So the, uh, <laughs> the so this mule. <laughs> Like sees you kind of walk up and sees this half orc, you know, in in you know this kind of hulking half orc. And oh, and my and smile is not pretty. Yeah, <laughs> walking up and it just kind of like and kind of starts pulling away. It's <laughs> uh, like taking her. She's like trying to hold on to it. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. She's, oh she's not very used to. Works. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> no. I go back to brooding. <laughs> <laughs> the little light I had is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly. Oh, Beautiful, sexy, hailing oh, hands. That's so terrible. <laughs> Alright, I walk away from him. From Ellie. Oh. Uh, Pizza, if it make you feel any better, <clears throat> if you want to send someone with us, as like a, I don't know, just to watch over us. Also, we wouldn't mind the help as well. You could ask one of your people to go with us. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's good to know. I mean, I'm, I, I imagine that's up to Duke Bolton. Um, I'm like that. I'm, I didn't mean to sound like I didn't trust you. I just, I worry about her. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. You know. No harm, no foul. Right. Harms and fouls. There were harms and earlier we ate fouls. <laughs> wrong on both accounts. <laughs> I apologize. Had very busy days. Alright, uh, so, um, <clears throat> as you are uh, continuing to travel, uh, you, you know, set up camp for the night again, and, um, mm. I assume Same you, order. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You, you never watch? I mean, it's fine. You guys got it. <laughs> you guys got it. Yeah. All right. So again, wake up uh, without incident. Uh, Yay! Uh, <laughs> and um, no, no living your... trees attacking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, right. Dead living trees. Mm. Living dead trees. Living dead trees. <laughs> yeah, and set on your way again under another cool, clear day, um, getting mm. some really good luck with the weather, and um, uh, start. Uh, heading uh, toward Midreach, and um, uh, as uh, you guys are kind of riding and talking and chatting and everything, um, you see uh, s- the bushes move up on the side of the road up up ahead of you, and out of the bushes comes a very large, uh, what looks like a really large goblin. Okay. Comes clomping out of the bushes with a gigantic club on his shoulder, oh. and steps right into the middle of the road and and turns towards you guys and says, "All right, time to pay the toll." So cliche. <laughs> and you see, <clears throat> out of the corner of your eye, you see all around you, goblin faces. Point, pulling out from behind trees and up above uh, bushes oh. with arrows aimed at you. And that's where we're going to end tonight. No! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> 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 you monster!
there. I was like, and stuff. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm gone. Bye, guys. <laughs> 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 and, uh, you can't, well, how's it go? You can't pay no tolls if you ain't got no rolls. Like, <laughs> 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 tolls are tolls, the rolls are rolls. That's right. <laughs> A crap load of dimes. <laughs> <laughs> Two Mel Burke references. Yes. Right in the back. Right in the row, man. I love it. I love it. Thank you all for joining us for this first episode of the Everland yes. Chronicles. Yes. Yes. So, so much. We will be uh, playing every two weeks, and mm-hmm. so we will see you two weeks from tonight. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you can you're welcome to join our Discord where we will have discussion. I also am posting maps of, of places uh, such as the continent of Erythea, where most of the story is happening um, at first, and uh, as well as the city of Elduin uh, and f- other upcoming resources we have in mind. We'll also be posting the character trailers and illustrations and. All kinds of good stuff, and uh, we will be having a uh, figurine painting party yeah. uh, for some custom figures for all of the oh, players. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and all those all those good places. The info should be below. And uh, please reach out and let us know what you thought of it. Yes. yes. Mm. How well we did. Mm-hmm. Unless, mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless you hate it. Unless you hate it. Then only tell him. Yeah, only tell him. Only tell him. Only tell But thank you again for joining us, and we will see you again in two weeks. Woo! Nice. Nice. That's Ladonia. That's me.